happy this happened after the bounty. Cause I yeah. checked it. It I checked. It said completed. I I'm getting a payout. But like they accepted it. I'm getting a payout. It worked. But at the same time, it's like oh my god. If this happened during the bounty, I would, I would have been so pissed. Hello, can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Can you guys hear me? Okay, we're good. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. Something is messed up on Twitch's end. So, I don't know, Twitch, put me on your- I just did a bounty for you! Put me on your strongest server! You guys can hear me, right? I can. Okay. Dude, I'm so fucking itchy. Ugh. I'm such a slob today, <laughs> but I don't care. <sighs> How are the wings? Eh, they're alright. Ah, racist detected. No, he's not racist. Jack but he will racist. but he will be integrate. No 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 no. Look at his eyes. Please play his intro. Look at him. Look at his face. You still fucking around with Leroy? Oh. God damn. Bread man off the shits. You can low parry dick jabs, right? Uh, yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, P Jack is beautiful and non problematic. Real talk. Oh, so cool. Real talk, I might play Jack and Tekken 8. He looks fun. Word. That super looks stupid. They all kind of do. So far. They really gave it that. that pure injection of anime. You want the big rail gun? Hell yeah, I do. They gave Jack hidden missiles. Remember Cross Tekken? Yeah, that'll never happen again. <laughs> that was that was crazy. What the fuck? Gems. The fuck? Yeah, Capcom really bunged that one up. <laughs> and then I don't think they ever updated it from Games for Windows Live. No. But it's still for sale on Steam. <laughs> you need a community patch to play it online. <laughs> oh! That cane is so belligerent! Brother. 
I have never seen that move before in my life. Will it kill? Yeah. I say no. Oh, you know, he was pretty fucking low. That cane is like... That cane might as well be a second super. It's a super big launcher. And you can only use it once per match. Hmm. But it's it's not it's not like it leaves you super plus. It's so it's not actually like a second rage drive, but it's it's, it's like what it's good because it's so big. So if you're playing keep out and they're coming in, it's a great move to throw out. Hmm. Good catch on the float. Mamma mia. What the f fuck? Oh, no wall. That, that wasn't a parry, was it? That was just like a counter hit one inch punch? Yeah. Yep. Uh. You can't even blame Leroy for this because as a as Jack, you should be having you should be playing keep out, shouldn't you? You should be Oh shit. Kinda hard to play keep out when you can't fucking breathe. Yeah, that's true. Oh for the moment. I lost all my channel points, huh? Yeah, then explain this. Oh, never mind. I can't afford improv. <laughs> oh. Alright. I gotta put all this these bone scraps away. Ugh. You know, the men's warehouse bounty paid for this meal today. And then some. Hell yeah. So, lunch was on them. Eating on men's warehouses, dime. Yeah. I also got some things that I needed for a video I'm making, but... Oh my god, I'm such a fool! Yeah? I forgot! I gotta put these in the fridge. I have blue cheese and honey mustard. <laughs> Oops. The wings already had sauce on them. It's okay. It's not like I eat unsauced wings. I'm not a barbarian. Eating wings with no honey mustard. Link the video in your chat. It's important. Oh, he's not even fucking here. <laughs> I wasn't looking. Well, what up, stoners? How you doing? Dude, it's my birthday tomorrow, chat room. What'd you get me? A happy smile? Awesome. Yo, shouts out, Air Fryer. Toffee fucking loves it. After I built it, she just sat on it all night. And most times when I've gone out there, she's been sitting around on it. Shouts out. Yes, I was born on April Fool's. I am a natural-born idiot. So at the very least, I have an excuse for the way that I am. What's your excuse? Rude. 
Street Fighter 6 is going to be the first game you full commit to. Cool. Hope you have fun. Looks like it's going to be a good time. I'm not too jazzed by the base roster, personally. There's not a lot of characters I'm very interested in. I was kind of interested in Jamie when we played the beta, but that was only because he was easy. <laughs> not even Jury. No, I fucking hate Street Fighter V and Street Fighter VI Jury. Are you joking? They removed everything that I like about her. They removed the negative edge. They removed her dive kick. They removed her taunt. They removed her fireballs. She's not even the fucking same character anymore. I'm not interested. I, was, I played Dury in Street Fighter 4. That is the character that I want. She has a dive kick in 6 though, right? Yeah, but you can't do EX dive kick out of back jump. So fuck that. JP does look cool, yeah. I'll have to wait until I see actual footage of him. But yeah, at this point, I'm like looking at the base roster of Street Fighter 6. I'm like, I don't know. I'll play Kami, I guess. <laughs> you know, and it's like, oh. Ooh. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not too jazzed with that base roster. What, what up, Bob? What do we got over here? Marduk versus Shaheen. What were you guys talking about? I was, we were just talking about Street Fighter Six. People were talking about how they're going to use that game to get into fighting games, and I was saying... That's a good one, yeah. Cool. Yeah, and good. also, I don't like the base roster. <laughs> I'm really? I'm excited for it. Really? Oh, like, I... Like I was saying, they, they've Jury is not the same character at all that she was in. She four. um. So while I was at PAX E, something that they had there was they had an invitational tournament, and uh -huh. I managed to catch the, catch the grand finals. It was uh -huh. not that exciting because it they didn't have access to the full roster. It was the same limited roster from the beta, uh -huh. but it was Punk. The grand finals was Punk versus Nephew, um, Luke. Punk was on Luke, and Nephew was on Jury. Uh, Street Fighter 6 Jury looks pretty damn good still. I don't know. I mean, yeah, she looks good, but she doesn't have the things that I like about the character. Okay, no negative edge. all right, the, all right. The negative edge is what I like about the character, and it's just gone. So, I don't care. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I don't care how good, like, she was top tier in 4. Not top tier, but high tier. But, like, I don't fucking care about that. I'm just here for weird input gimmicks. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Manon will be cool. Maybe JP will be cool. Also, there's too many fucking grapplers in the base roster. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, there's only two, aren't there? Marisa, Manon, Zangief. Oh, right. And uh, Baby T-Hawk, whatever her name is. Well, only two of them seem like... Real this is not a grappler. I see command grabs, so I see command grabs and I see armor. So, oh wow, I'm classifying it. Yo, that motherfucker just teabag. No, he's flexing. Marduk, you need to do like a whole bunch of like stance cancel shit. So that's like he did the Marduk equivalent of uh, of like wave dashing at your opponent. If you're playing a Mishima, because he was he was going into stance and canceling it over and over again, you know he's like he's you know you're doing it to flex, but then when your opponent asks, you're just like, oh no, I was just you know doing the doing the you know warming up. <laughs> Justin Ivy is a grappler. Uh, okay, jackass, we're gonna talk about shit that you don't know. She's a better grappler than the grappler in the game. Calamity Symphony and Summon Suffering make her a better grappler than the dedicated grappler. So, yes. Correct. She is. Comes out two frames faster, has a smaller tech window, and it leans forward, and it does like 30%, and you get Oki? Come on. Come on. So fucking curious who the guest characters are gonna be for Tekken 8. Uh, Joel, Last of Us. <laughs> you know, there's a non-zero chance of that. 
Who else is out there? What video game? Lalo Salamanca. Yeah. yeah, Lalo Salamanca. Yeah. <laughs> is there a guarantee that that's going to be any? It's like tradition at this point. They have. It's it's like Tekken always has a guest character. Pipe down, grappler player. Go back to eating crayons. The grown ups are talking. Kiryu? I think Kiryu is confirmed to not be it. I think they. I think in like in an interview they said like, yeah, we couldn't do it. And the reasoning is like really funny. The 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 devs the devs for Yakuza said they don't want Kiryu beating up women. So manly. So chivalrous. that's legitimately the reason why they said no. Kiryu isn't allowed to fight women. It's like the opposite of Poison's origin story. They put Kiryu in Rainbow Six? Wait, is Kiryu really in Rainbow Six Siege? You're joking. That sounds about right. Is that real? That's a co uh, yeah, it's a skin. It's a skin. It would not be a skin. It would be the real character in Tekken. Damn, 3-0. Yeah, AK is very good. AK is here. Oh, that was the most botched post-game handshake yeah. I've seen in a minute. Holy Can we fuck. get a replay of that shit? Hold on. <laughs> God damn. Hold on. That was a layered interaction right there. Hold on. We got a replay. What? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> dude, the dude whiffed. I've never seen a real whiff before in real life. You gotta go back. You gotta go back and go frame by frame. You can use uh, the period key. Oh, right. I forgot. To row hold frame on, by frame. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, this, this might be messed up because it's such a big video. Oh, hold on. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Ah. Come on. All right, here we go. All right, goes in for the fist bump. Sorry, it's a big video, so it's like chunky. Come on. Come on. Oh, and then <laughs> and then he fucking fakes him out. Okay, so hand presented. <laughs> this dude's a bitch. <laughs> so all so so hand presented. Already we have a disaster because we have hand versus fist. No, 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 no. That's the thing. This motherfucker started with a fist, and then the other guy put up his, and then he FADC'd into a hand. Oh, oh, okay. And then he went back to a fist, but the other guy's going to hand now. Oh. Oh, they clashed. Got the phone in the other hand? Yeah, put your phone away if you're gonna fucking shake your... Whatever. Okay, so complete whiff. <laughs> oh, no. What are you doing? <laughs> but, 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 then he put, but he puts his hands together anyways. Bro. Oh, but the then. Bow, and then, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, you can't. Trying to, trying to clean the plate. Oh, no, you're going back. You know Get it's over here. You know it's fucked when you're reaching back for your the person's hand. <laughs> There it goes. Oh, bro. Got there in the end. <laughs> oh, God. Bro, why you fucking mix him up? It, it would have been fine if it was just fist bump. 
But he fucking mixed him. He did stance cancels. Oh, yeah. Do you guys want to hear my why I think everybody's dumb about the whole uh, leverless controller debacle? I'm pretty sure you explained this at length earlier. Did I? Through the so, wings, yeah. You, you said you said wait, wait for me to finish with these wings, and then you kept talking about it. Oh no! But I was gonna like go in depth. I'll do it quick. I see. Okay, so here, and, and, and you're right, Mira. It'll give me an excuse to show off my fancy toy, which I need to buy a case for. It didn't come with a case, but I want a case. They, they sell a Just bag. Get a they sell a bag. Yeah, apparently it's like most like tablet like cases or like. Portable laptop, uh, not a laptop, portable keyboard cases will work. All right, this here. I'll, I'll, I'll embiggen myself. Look at that little thing. I'll, I'll embiggen myself. This here is a leverless controller. Leverless, as in, there's no lever. It just has directional inputs, uh, you know, these, these inputs for directions, and that's it. Now, when they first thought about playing fighting games on these things, they ran into a problem, which is you can cheat. I'm not saying you can, I'm not saying, when I say cheat, I don't mean, oh, it's a cheat box. I can't wait to do instant flash kick. I meant you can literally cheat. You can hold forward and back at the same time, and you could be Guile moving forward, holding charge, right? Oh shit, I'm gonna pause this because Knee's about to play and I wanna watch that. So uh, let me do my let me do my shit first. So you can walk forward as a charge character and hold charge. You can legit cheat. So there's two ways to take it take into account this. N way number one is you have um, opposite inputs negate each other. So on this controller, if you plug it in and boot up a fighting game, you hold left and right, that gives you neutral. Left and right give you neutral, right? Because the issue is you can't double up on inputs. You can only have one input. So left and right equals neutral. Got it. We're good. The other way you can solve this problem is you can override it. So on this controller, if you hit down, you'll have down. You're holding down, right? You're crouching. If you hit up, your character will jump because up will override down. So you have two ways to to solve this problem either override the input with the new input or you mix the two inputs together and you get neutral or something right now for the for those of you who are smart you'll say hey wait a minute why does this controller do both why is it not uniform well it's because we want to win okay because this is the having your cake and eat it too Left and right, you can't move forward and hold charge. That is flat out cheating, right? So left and right is equal to neutral. Perfect. Got it. Down and up, right? Having up override down so you can jump from, right? You can crouch and then immediately jump. That's very advantageous. Like I said, if you're playing a charge character, you get instant. You get like super fast like flash kicks. And if that sounds great to you, play more fighting games. Um... So it's advantageous. That's why it's set up like this. So the Capcom ruling isn't bad in of itself. Because what Capcom... And like I said, by, by according to Capcom's new rule for Capcom Pro Tour, it introduces new shortcuts for like Shotos and, and people with down-down inputs, right? What, it, what they really want to do is they want to standardize it. That is perfectly fair and perfectly fine. Because you know what? I agree. It is a little whack for this controller to be like, okay, left and right equals neutral, up and down is up. That's kind of whack, right? Standardize it. Standardize it. Which way is it? And so they're putting their foot down and they're saying, listen, left and right is neutral, but up and down has to be neutral too. Sure. Fine. Okay. But... And where my first problem is, they didn't think it through. They didn't think it through. Number one, um, like I said, a lot of players immediately stated that like, hey, 
Uh, you guys, this doesn't do what you guys, like, it does what you guys think this does, but it also introduces, like, five new shortcuts for, like, a bunch of other characters. Now Shoto's can do wicked fast dragon punches. Uh, if you, down, down inputs are faster now. Like, you really just, it's like, it's like whack-a-mole, right? They whack one mole and three more came up, right? And we'll see how bad it is. Maybe they, hey... Maybe they did do some testing, and it's not so bad. And if that's the, you know, the canary in the coal mine is, for me, Daigo. If Daigo goes back to playing a Shoto on, hit, on, on his hitbox, that's how you know. That's how you know. Alright, that's how you know shit's bad. If Daigo goes back to playing on hitbox, or, sorry, Daigo plays on hitbox, if he goes back to a Shoto, that's how you'll know. Because he plays Gal right now. So that's that's going to be my canary in the coal mine. And and you know, clearly he doesn't give a fuck. He just wants to use a good character that is like somewhat basic. No 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 thrills. Um the other reason why I'm not happy what with this change is because it seems like no one behind the scenes was informed. If that makes sense. And it, it, that's why it's so weird to me because like yeah like capcom pro tour is big it has sponsors it there's tournaments tied to capcom pro tour there are players tied to capcom pro tour to street fighter right then was anyone warned as far as it seems like nobody was warned that they were going to do this do you know what i mean because if all these different hardware manufacturers, if all these fighting game controller manufacturers like Hitbox and Snackbox have to come out and release official statements, that tells me no one was warned. Like, they just flat out decided this one day. And, like, you, ought to, you have to warn these people. Like, and that's why I say, like, don't ever worry about them banning leverless controllers because there's too much money in it. That's because there's too much money in it. Hitbox is a sponsor for Evo. Like, look, look, look down on, look, look, look down. Down into the right. Hitbox is right there. Hitbox is a sponsor for this tournament. There's too much money in the system for them to want to get rid of leverless controllers. Leverless controllers are a new product fighting game controller manufacturers can push onto its customers. Why would they ever ban this shit when it makes them money? But it seems so short-sighted on Capcom's part to have not warned any of these companies. And you can say like, okay, but it's not our responsibility. Fair. But it's just annoying because like, for example, I was watching a, a video by, by a fighting game content creator called Rufalmonger. And he stated something that I didn't even consider. There are now first party controllers. First party controllers. Okay? Sony. The owners of Evo and Evo Japan. Sony. Officially licensed Sony PlayStation controllers are now not allowed for Capcom Pro Tour. You know, this is a controller that Sony looked at and said, you're A-OK, -okay, mon frere, go get them. You know, you bring, what, you bring that to a Capcom Pro Tour event, they'll stop you at the door and say, hold up, you might not be allowed to use this. You know what I mean? And that, to me, is just so fucking whack. And it's clear that they warned nobody. There's not enough communication going on. Because if they did this, and all of the hardware manufacturers, like Vitrix, Hitbox, and the smaller companies, Brook, were like, hey, don't worry about this ruling. We already got a firmware update ready for you. You're good. Problem solved. No one would have anything to say right but instead now all these different companies are scrambling and like hitbox released a statement that looks kind of whack 
But part of the reason why it looks kind of whack is because they heard about it the same time that we heard about it. They were like, oh shit, we gotta say something. This is stupid. Why did Capcom just make extra work for us? You know? <laughs> the, the, um, because that's all it really is. It's like, you know, just wait for the company that you get your leverless controller from to make a firmware update and you're set. I heard that Brook already has a firmware update if, you're, if your controller uses a Brook board, which is another one of the hardware manufacturers. Uh, Junk Food Arcades released a statement saying like, hey, we're working on a firmware update. It's coming and it'll don't be, don't be a CPT compliant mode. Whatever. The next group of people I'm mad at, uh, fighting game players. <laughs> Just in general, when this came out, Everyone crawl all these all these homunculi crawled out of the fucking woodwork and there are people going like oh my god I'm so afraid they're gonna ban my leverless controller and then other people were like hey fuck you they should ban all these cheat boxes when in reality I don't think anything's gonna happen they're not banning leverless controllers the players who care are gonna update the firmware on their leverless controllers and just keep playing you know i think if you're afraid don't worry they're not gonna ban it at mo at worst you're just gonna have to wait like at most like you're gonna have to wait a few weeks to update the firmware on your controller and like i i know for a fact there are people who don't play street fighter that are still weighing in going like hee 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 you don't play street fighter you are never gonna enter a capcom pro tour event and you know what's great? Even if I don't update the firmware on my controller, I'm still going to get to play ranked on Street Fighter 6 against you, and you're still going to lose. And and a non-zero percentage of that of of the reasoning for that loss is because I'm using a cool controller controller and you aren't. Which goes into yeah. the which goes into right like everyone's blowing this out of proportion when really it's not that big of a deal. And like, you might not even have to update your firmware. If you don't plan on ever entering a Capcom Pro Tour event, just sit at home, play ranked on your cheat box. Fuck it. No one will know, no one will care, and they can't enforce it. Which segues to the third reason why I'm pissed off. Um, this is gonna be hell for TOs now. Something that I something that this reminds me of uh, for a different game, not fighting games, Magic the Gathering. Magic the Gathering's Pro Tour is back. And in the last Pro Tour event that they had, where they were streamed on Twitch, there were two pro players playing against each other. One of them made a mistake. They didn't know how they didn't know how one of their cards worked. Don't ask me why. But one of them didn't know how their card worked. Oh, you're talking about during Pro Tour Fire X, yeah? Yeah, the draft portion, Reed Duke yeah, versus yeah. someone else. One of the players made a mistake. It what they weren't cheating. They made an honest mistake, and in fact, they actually handicapped themselves. They actually, their mistake actually was detrimental to themselves. I was watching, and people in chat were exploding. They were screaming. They were trying to ping whoever they could. And they're like, you guys gonna need to get a judge down there. This mistake is the kind of mistake that could cost them the match. A judge needs to get their right fucking now and tell them what they did wrong and like roll back the game because this mistake is like bad enough that it could cost them the match a judge never showed up <laughs> and then there was not even an attempt even the casters were like hey we should get a judge down there shouldn't we and a judge never showed up and this is like feature spotlight match on twitch 10,000 viewers no judge and it just reminds me they're not gonna have the they're not tos cannot check everybody's controller yeah at at capcom pro tour they can't they can't they can't they cannot this is not something that they will be able to enforce um going back to what i said about my controller the snackbox micro the the company Junk Food Arcades released a statement saying that they're going to update the firmware and they're going to have a mode so that while you're plugging the controller in, 
you can hold the directional button and there are going to be four input methods you can pick from one of which will be a cpt compliant mode where up and down is neutral now i'm not blaming the company i'm not saying anything about junk food arcades i'm not saying that this is why they're implementing it like this but i'm just using this as an example if i had if i was a person that had loose morals and wanted to win at all costs you want to know what i would do the TO would come over, hey bro, we need to check your controller. Okay, plug it in, check it on CPT compliant mode. Oh look, up and down is neutral. And they would give me the thumbs up and they would walk away because there's a hundred other people at Evo that need to have their hitboxes checked. And then when they walk away, I unplug my controller, plug it back in and change the setting. They can't enforce this. They cannot, unless you want to go full StarCraft mode no. <laughs> and have hand cams for every single player, you cannot enforce this. The big, the bigger, like, maybe at, like, the invitational tournaments, and it, it, it's true, Capcom Pro Tour is not, like, a thing that's just open to everybody, right? But, like, this, if they were hoping that this was a rules change that would reverberate throughout the community, uh, the answer is no. Because there's no way to enforce this. So it's just dumb all around. It's just dumb all around. And my final point that someone brought up earlier. If this matters so much, it should be enforced at the software level. The game should not allow for multiple... Like, you know, like the game should do something if it detects a down and up input simultaneously. But it doesn't. There, I don't know why it doesn't. It, it's just stupid. That was crazy. Anyway, we're about to watch a knee eat someone alive. Uh, on the right is knee. Current Evo champion knee. Possibly, if not one of, possibly the best Tekken player on the planet right now. On the left, uh, some guy I've never seen before. So it's someone. Someone's about to have to fight for their life. And Nee plays a cheater character too. He doesn't care. He Nee plays like ten different characters, and he he's playing Fang. So you know he doesn't give any fucks. He just wants to win. In fact, I don't even want to hear these people talk. Get me into that match. But yeah, the the hit the the leverless controller thing is such a big debacle, and like every like everybody who has an opinion on it is like just so stupid. From the companies that make these leverless controllers to Capcom to the players to the content creators trying to stir up shit so they can get views, <laughs> it, it's all so stupid. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Fang versus Claudio. Uh oh. I'm back. Oh, it's Ni. Yeah, it's Ni versus some random Japanese person I've never heard before. They could even be good, but they're, I don't think they're going to win. Oh. Is there a version of Tekken subtitles where everyone's subtitled in their native language? I don't think so, unfortunately. Oh, oh, the nerves, the nerves. He got a low parry and he fucking couldn't do his combo. Sad. He fucking did a jump instead. Oh, yeah, you, you're, you're, you're not, you're not, you're not in the mind space to beat a player like me. Nee. 
I decided I'm gonna clean my keyboard. Yo, Sharla, what's good? When I fought Arslan at Combo Breaker, I did the same thing. I did something similar. Yeah, where the nerves getting to you? I can imagine. That's crazy. You got to fight Arslan Ash at Combo Breaker. Hey, when's Combo Breaker? Is it in May again? Oh yeah, I forgot that was a thing. Last week of May? Yo, I'm getting Combo Breaker on the front page of Twitch again. Hint, hint. <laughs> Shouts out. If you know what that means, you know what that means. Read between the lines. Oh, I deafened on accident. Oh, I need to get like a keycap remover. My keyboard came with one. I'm I'm happy about that. Damn. I mean, this keyboard that I'm using, I've had it since high school. Oh, what? Oh. How is it not broken on you? I've never had a keyboard know. last longer than like seven years. It's just a Razer Black Widow, brother. That's what I have, and it fucking broke on me. Mine's never broke. Lucky. Mine's never broken. I've like I I play Dota on this thing, brother. How? How? I've spilled soda on this thing. Legit no problems. Legit, that's what broke my my uh, my uh my Dota keys that I use for like different things. <laughs> they, they they like stop responding. W E R. Yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, no, this, this is the same keyboard that I played on in high school. When, no, when actually, you want to know what it is? So mm. I I changed up all my binds. I have a very unique. I had a very unique setup for Dota, and for me. The A button was select all units. Mm. And I would, and, but um, I had a habit of when you double tap select, like if you only have one unit and you double tap select all units, it'll just center on your hero, right? Yeah. So I had a so habit. Double tap that all the time. I would mash A all the time. Either yeah. because I was playing a character with no micro, but I just wanted to center it on myself. Like I had my, like I needed to snap the camera back to my hero. Or, I liked playing Enchantress, I liked playing, uh, I liked playing heroes that required some amount of micro. So, like, you know, if you need all your units to move to one place, you would ma I would mash on A and then right-click some, like, you know, somewhere. Uh -huh. So, I wore down my A key playing Dota. <laughs> That's funny. Man, I randomed Visage earlier. Visage hero is... feels like you're playing a fucking flight simulator. Dude, Visage is awesome. Visage was one of my favorite heroes. It it took a lot of learning though. That was the first hero that I was that I played that I was like, I actually want to learn the micro for this shit. This Claudio has some spirit. I mean he's probably not bad. He's just not like world caliber good, you know? Dude, don't get a cat if you want a clean keyboard. Oh, the hair? Holy shit, there's so much cat hair on these knees, keys. Knee's too sharp. Knee is too sharp. Ooh, he got clipped by that, though. Yo, Sharla. What do you think about Tekken 8 so far? I, I would love to hear your opinions. Do you like that? Do you like that? There's such an emphasis on flat out aggression. Ooh, as a photo finish. Define budget grunt of action, and do you care if it has like an inline mic? Cause I don't fuck with anything gamer branded when it comes to headsets, cause those shits break after like. Oh months. my god! Hey, get! I got, I got. Um, I went to Micro Center and I wanted to get new headphones, cause my headphones that I use for editing and for streaming broke on me. And so I got a pair of. Are these the? I got a pair of headphones at Micro Center. What's the brand that you recommended, Mira? 
Sony MDRs. Yeah. That's like a that's not a specific set. That's like a whole line of headphones. And I was at Micro Center, I was looking, and Mira was like, okay, Mira recommends this line of Sony headphones. But I look, and the only ones available come in a pure white, like no no design. Just only white, like just a blank white box with a sticker on it. And it's like a pair of $20 shitty Sony headphones. Okay, I shouldn't say shitty. These headphones cost me $20 and they're great. They feel good. They sound good. They're great. Yeah. The, and the it was 20 bucks. Linked, the ones that I linked, I've been using these since high school and I've only ever owned two pairs. I was worried when they were doing the initial press rollout, but now that I've seen the game, that's... Seen the game, that's... Wait, now that I've seen the game, that's died down. I think Tekken 8 looks really cool. Yeah, I'm excited for it. For it. Yeah, Sony makes good headphones. Do recommend. Don't buy that gamer shit with the fucking mics on it. One ear will stop working after like... Mira, months. what did you just copy? Oh, right, you're cleaning your keyboard. I'm cleaning my keyboard. So sorry. Yeah, I don't buy gamer branded anything. I don't... I, 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 I've stopped using a game... I, like, my keyboard is no longer gamer branded. My headphones aren't gamer branded. My chair isn't gamer branded. The only thing gamer branded I have is my mouse. And that's because I couldn't find, like, one that wasn't gamer branded. The old Logitech G502, brother. Yeah. That's you the, ain't need anything more than that. That's what I have, because it's it was cheap and it was on Tried sale. Tried and, and true. Yeah. It's cheap and you can adjust the weight on it. It feels nice. Yeah, the little batarangs you slide into the drawer on the bottom. It's awesome. Yeah, the heat engagers look like they're going to be hell to deal with, but I think it'll be fine. It'll be fun. I, it's I'm, something I, I'm, new. It is something new. I'm excited for it. It's no reversal edge. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Foreigner. Foreigner. We got a foreign invader here. Let's see how well they do. I don't recognize that person, so they definitely ain't from the U.S. I mean, they could be from the U.S., just not someone you know. It's true. I'm giving out free Tekken 8 codes in chat. <laughs> Grab them before they're gone. I wonder how heat engagers will work in the sense of if you can if you can do one without going into heat. I think you have to, don't you? They really need to not. Like call if you it land that. it. Pick anything else. Oh shit, they're a Lee player. Mr. Chow Lan. I know him from the fight zone. I heard you can opt to not go into the mode. Okay. So you can just use the mode. But it seems so advantageous. Why wouldn't you? Oh, okay. Shit. Brother. All right. Strong start from this Lee player. Oh, Charlotte, is this like a notable player? I mean, they have to be if they traveled all the way out for EVO Japan. I like their username. I like their handle. Ooh. Sad. A Wallace stage. Oh, 
Oh my god, this is a cl- oh my god! This shit's clinical so far! Whoever- whoever- Player 2 is not making this, uh... Not putting up a good fight. How does stage picks work for in tournament for Tekken? Uh, you have to random a stage first, and then the loser can either change characters or change pick a stage. But not both. Hey, my camera should be on the bottom for this tournament because there's no there's no pertinent information up there. Hey, I don't know if I missed you or not, but thank you, Brackens, and thank you, I'm Drinking Slime, for the resubs. Much appreciated. That was like an hour ago. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's a lot more even now. Oh! Nice. Does this kill? Nice. Chat, does this guy look like he works at a vape shop? Does that theory hold true? Does that guy look like he works at a vape shop? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Damn, I could never play like that. See, when I see when I see people say like, "Oh, I could never do that," or "I could never play like that," I don't know. Have you ever tried? Just try. You gotta try. Oh, he tried. I'm really surprised this Alyssa player did not pick a different stage, but maybe they were feeling it. Nice! Lee's much worse without walls? Yeah, it's true. Well, they're, they're at match point. Oh my god. I didn't know that move did that much damage. Oh my god! All right, well, that was... <laughs>
Whoa! Man, it's so weird to think that, like, in Tekken 8, so much shit is gonna change. Like, spring kicks? Wake up kicks aren't, aren't gonna knock down anymore. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't think it's gonna matter that much, honestly, in the long run. Some characters are gonna hate that. But I think, like, it's gonna take some adjusting and then it's not gonna matter. Oh, man. Doing that men's warehouse bounty has tired me out. Oh! Who is this? It's Super Akuma! Oh, shit! Uh oh. I was debating getting this game, but I think I'll wait for 8 to come out and then learn that game. Well, the problem with that is, um, like, everyone thinks Tekken 8 won't come out for like a year. Like, you're going to be waiting for a while. You should just play it now. Like, for real? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I gotta blow my nose. But yeah, Street Fighter 6 comes out in like two months. But like, Tekken 8's not going to come out for a long time. <laughs> So if you wait, you're going to be waiting for a, a long, long time, is the problem. Whoa, this is not a matchup you see every day. Yoshimitsu versus Akuma. I think Akuma actually has the edge here. Akuma has more bullshit than... Than Yoshimitsu. Any big upsets so far? Nah. Yeah, the other thing about Tekken is that Tekken 7 is so old, when it goes on sale, you usually, you usually can get it for like 5 bucks. So, you're gonna, it's gonna be a lot cheaper than, you know... But hey, maybe you don't care. If you don't think you care, then just wait for Tekken 8 and get it and play it. Because I'm that way for Street Fighter 6. Like, when Street Fighter 6 was first announced and it looked good, I thought about getting... I thought I reinstalled Street Fighter 5 and I tried to play a little bit of it. I was like, yeah, let's play some of this. And I just couldn't. I couldn't bring myself to do it. <laughs> so... I couldn't bring myself to do it. So... You know, maybe you're like me then. In which case, yeah, don't worry about it. Just play 8 when it comes out. I'll just play Street Fighter 6 when it comes out. I'm not going to play Street Fighter 5. Whoa. Are you a Strive enjoyer? Yeah, I played a little bit of Strive when it first came out. I play Faust. But then, like, other shit happened, and I... But then, like, I got distracted, and then I stopped playing. But I, I want to get back into Strive. But there's no lack of fighting games to get into right now, you know? Especially with a lot of these games getting rollback. Like, I want to play Grand Blue. I want to play Sam Show. I want to play KOF too.
The only thing that's been keeping me from hopping into Tekken 7 is that there's too many fighting games. Agreed. Agreed. There's too many. But I have to pick and choose. The, it's funny. It's funny. Um, it's funny because it's like, I also play card games. But I have the opposite. For for me, card games are like the opposite. Where like, I'm like, oh, all these fighting games look great. I want to play all these fighting games. And then when it comes to card games, I'm like, every card game that isn't the Magic the Gathering looks like it's dog shit. I don't want to play any of them. They all look like trash for suckers. One Piece? Trash. Digimon? Trash. Pokemon? Trash. A card a card fight vanguard you're get out don't don't even look at me but magic is great <laughs> but it's the opposite card fart yeah what's the one that has like all the anime characters from like all the different properties was it a cult like why something Weiss Schwartz, yeah, fuck Weiss Schwartz. Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh's trash, dude. <coughs> I mean, magic sucks too, but at least they got their shit together, you know? Magic has their shit together? Question mark? I know, it's all sorts of fucked up. I'll make it a... Super Akuma is like the most proud hitbox player I know. At least I like it because they don't hide it. They're like, yeah, this shit's cheap. Get at me. You can play on it too. You can buy one. Uh, <laughs> All right, I want to skip to my next match. Oh, shit. It's, uh, what's his name? It's Nobi. Nobody's another good. The person on the left is a is a very good Japanese player. So he should be extra good cuz he's not traveling. This is his home turf. What is with these round start low parries? That's not the first one. Oh my god. Just getting bullied. Just getting completely bullied. Holy shit. God, Feng is so fucked up. But he's so good. Maybe I should play Feng.
I think I might need an emergency coffee, guys. I'm feeling kind of tired from doing that men's warehouse bounty. And, and the wings that I had to eat that were, like, required of me. Alright. After this one, I'm gonna go grab a coffee real quick. Were they good wings? They were alright. I'm not gonna lie, I got them at the grocery store. But they were okay. They were passable. B minus wings, yeah. If they were lemon pepper wings, you'd be fine. Yeah, lemon pepper wings sound energizing, you know? The, the citrus and the pepper. You're out of lemon pepper, sad. Maybe before, you know, you know, I've thought about making my own lemon pepper wings, but I wanna like save it as like a pilgrimage. I wanna go to Atlanta and like, you know, make it like an event for me. It's my Mecca. All right, this guy's gotta like. Th th this guy's gotta like do something. He's he's losing. Oh, fuck! Come on, one more hit. One more hit. You're going up against an established pro player. You gotta like prove you got it. No, no, standing up and immediately whipping jab is not is not is not the right move. Oh God. All right, there we go. Oh my god. Man, this is like clinical. <laughs> this is like... He had a slight chance to win round one and then he just let it slip. Yeah, he's... I... Yeah. It looked like he was running out of ideas. He was autopilot... He was autopiloting in a, in a bad way. Alright. I'm not gonna pause the video because why not? Um, I'm gonna go, I'm, I'll, be, I'll be back real quick with a coffee. I need an, I need me an emergency energy coffee. Oh man, I need this coffee. I'm going Kramer mode. I'm like slipping on my own slippers. This is the coffee that makes me feel like... Is that mocha? You bet it is. This is the coffee that... This is the only canned coffee that I like. Because it makes me feel like Robocop. Oh my god, look at that gringo! Holy shit! Oh my god! You're gonna travel overseas and look like that? <laughs> I mean, you don't have to shave, but you're really gonna wear that t-shirt? Holy shit. Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah, this coffee makes me feel like RoboCop. Straight up. Straight up. Oh, shit. I don't think I took a vitamin P D pill yet. Alright, now's a. No, I gotta do this thing. Man, that's kind of crazy that. Evo Japan's kind of crazy. And when I say crazy, I mean the opposite. I mean tame. At Evo, it's like match, you know. They have a stream for each game. And it's like match after match. You know, when one one set is done, they're immediately kicking them off the stage. And be like, who are the next two bozos? Get them up here. Quick, play. Play, 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 play. No button check. Fuck button checks. Go play now. You know? And here, it's like, there's so much downtime. There, there's so much downtime between matches. Japan's too polite. Yeah, there's no audience yelling. Oh my god, look! There's so much vamping. Hey, this is great because this is exactly what I mean when I say that I can only live in a place that looks, that has a Chinatown. You see the distribution of Asian people to, to non-Asian people? I want to be able to go to a place in the city that has this kind of ratio, you know? It makes me feel good. One lone white man? There's more than one. There's a multiple, actually. There's a lot. Man, there's so much downtime. Come on. Get to the a These two people have been sitting here for a long ass time. Get to that fucking action, bro. Well, I'm trying to figure out what product they're advertising. Is this cologne? No, there's no cologne. It's all eye drops. Whoa, it's a Lars versus a Leo? How long have I been streaming for? My count is inaccurate because the stream went down. Because a Twitch server is acting up. Oh, I've been streaming for like three hours. Okay. Because it started at Oh. Nice. With the delayed hop kick. Oh, that's Dujin. Dojin. 
Yeah, this guy, this Lars player is a pro player. Yeah, they're a notable player. I know who they are. They're good. Oh, that was rough. Oh, I hear a lot of switch. I hear a lot of switching. You hear that? Bum, 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 bum. Someone's changing characters or something. Actually, no, there's only no character switch at all. Yeah, but they did pick a stage. That's interesting. I don't know if this stage helps or hurts. Do you think, do you want walls if you're losing to a Lars? I guess your character is good with walls too. Oh no! Oh my god! Ugh. Yeah, it's over. At a big tournament? At a big tournament, so many of these early rounds are determined by like, who can just keep it together? That's something I've learned. At these big tournaments, you could be a good player, right? Like, you could be a very good player. But, like, what's gonna do you in is just, like, you you know, you don't have the experience of keeping it together. You know? And when you can't keep it together, you're, like, guaranteed to just crumble. Because I bet, like, this person on player 2 isn't bad. They're just, like, you know. They got cameras on them. They're losing in front of God knows how many people. Because it looks like they could win. They just aren't. Turning nerves are a killer. Yeah. I, I, at the risk of sounding like I have my head up my ass or that I'm tooting my own horn, I have the, I, I get the feeling that if I got, I get the feeling that if I had the time to like, if I had the time, I could get really good at fighting games. Like, in a tournament setting. Because I have no shame. <laughs> you know? Like, if I lose, I don't, whatever, whatever, I don't care.
But the irony is that, like, the people who don't care whether they lose or not are the ones that are, like, some of the people who do the best. You know what I mean? The people who, like, don't give any fucks about the match, they're the people who do the best. And I have no shame. I'll, you know, I'll roll around on the floor and shit. So maybe I'd do well at a tournament if I got good enough. Hold on, I gotta check Melvor Idol. Damn. Roll around on the floor, like, literally? Yeah, I crawled around on the floor, uh... I crawled around on the floor for my, uh, PAX East item label video. I remember Romola talking about how the more she cared about winning, the worse she did in a in a video once. Yeah, I know. Hey, Romola's there. Romola's at Evo Japan. She made it to day two of Guilty Gear Strive, apparently. Oh, did they stop for... Hold on. Hold on. Wait, didn't we already see this? Wait, we did. Oh shit, we saw this too. What the fuck? Hold on. What's the schedule like? Yeah, we saw this already. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta figure this out. Oh, wait a minute. It's not. What a confusing way to do this. Okay, I think we want this. Oh, those wings are fighting back. Okay, here we go. Did Bob already talk about E3? No, I didn't talk about E3 at all. But yeah, E3 is canceled. Who who would have thunk? Hold on. All right, here we go. Jeff is a killer? Yeah, Jeff is ruthless. The moment they like, like 30 minutes after they announced that E3 was canceled, he put up a tweet saying like, hey, summer's game, summer game festival this summer, check it out.
people are so much better dressed for Evo Japan than they are for real Evo. Or so I shouldn't say real Evo. American Americo Evo. Although to offset that though, uh they sure as hell don't play a lot of fighting games, cause Holy shit, when did they actually play? Here we go. Here we go. Oh man, this is some, this is some like stoner Tekken right here. This is some real stoner Tekken. Brian, Byron versus fucking Armor King. This is like stepdad Tekken. Oh, switch the audio. Switch the audio. I want to hear the game, bro. Oh, that was a nice duck. Who do we got on the? Who do we got? Nah, oh, it's just me again. Oh, you came. You're done cleaning your keyboard. Yeah, I'm putting the keys back in now. Look at this stepdad ass Tekken going on right now. Byron Fury versus Armor King. The mains of those who have to pay child support everywhere. <laughs> Wow, that was clean! This Armor King player better, uh... I don't know. Pick up, pick up the sticks real fast! Cause he's losing. Alright, instant rematch. No character switch, no stage switch. Just get me right back in there. I gotta pick up the kids at 5. I don't got all day. I gotta watch these intros. Well, the intro is mandatory. It's to get into the headspace of Armor King, you know? Yeah, man. Tell the one, two. Whoa. Come on. I need to get, like, some dedicated keyboard cleaning device. Oh my god, this guy can't close it out! Bruh. Oh my god, dude, this Armor King player can't finish the plate! They can't ever finish their plate. That's like the second time that's happened now. Where they had their opponent like one interaction from dying and then they just couldn't do anything. They couldn't make it happen. I want a six pack of Mountain Dew to myself. Oh my god, is it gonna happen again? Oh my god, dude! Dude! <laughs> Fucking the, this guy can't finish his food! That's like that's like literally oh my god, this is so this is this is sad to watch. Oh my god! What you can't no <laughs> way come on dude! You're- oh no, oh my god, dude! Was that a taunt? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Come on, you gotta redeem- oh my god, dude! <laughs> Letting the- 
windscreen. <laughs> oh my Bruh. god, dude. Dude got no round brown twice. Feels bad. Yo, you think that guy shops at Men's Warehouse? Yeah. Oh, yeah. This guy used the, the try-on suit builder. <laughs> Alright, I want to see the next match. God, it's so weird. There's so much downtime in Evo Japan. Will that be the last we see of Armor King? Yeah, he's not a very popular character. That guy did not do Armor King justice. Armor King is not like that, guys. It's okay. He's a much more nuanced character that can, you know, finish off their opponents. Oh my god, they talk so much. You saw how many people are in that fucking tiny venue. It's true. Trying to fucking find the people to come play their match on stream? Are you joking? It's hard enough to do that in a whoa, fucking Discord server. Whoa, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's a it's a gringo versus gringo matchup. Sorry, wait. What are they called? Gringos in Japan? Gaijin. Yeah, think of the Goomba. Yeah, it's it's a Gaijin versus Gaijin matchup. Someone's uh oh. Anna versus Gingus. Whoa. I've never heard of either of these players. One's Australian, <laughs> one's USA. Okay. I love the katakana transliteration. Yeah. C Anna versus Gigas. My prediction is Anna will get in and then Gigas will lose. <laughs> oh, the Anna player is from Australia. Yeah. Whoa. Uh, uh, it's happening. It's happening. They're actually, it's actually more even than I thought. But yeah, look, oh my god, oh my god, dude! Brother moment. Oh no. What happened to the video? Is that the highest? Right, I guess it's just their video. Their bitrate fucked up? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, this is just what the Anna versus Gigas matchup looks like. Anna's a character that wants to stay in and, like, fuck you up. They have, like, very sticky offense, right? And Gigas is just sad. <laughs> Gigas is Gigas. So I, I got the feeling Gigas is not equipped with the right tools to get Anna off of him. Yeah. Alright, right back in. No character switch, no stage switch either. Fucking stick him with it. Word. Yeah. Like, look at this, dude! That was oh, some online shit. I mean, the online shit works if you're an Ana player going up against Gigas. Like, they have to just hold that. Like, what are they gonna do? <laughs> what are they gonna do? Does he not have a temp frame? He does, but it's like... That's a high, and Ana can, like, roll uh. and shit. Like, look, like, 
She, Anna's one of the characters where she has a she has a 50 50 Super tech crowd. Uh, Anna has like a really dangerous 50 50 while she's crouching so like your 10 frame jab is gonna go right over you know like you need it like Anna's one of those characters where at some point you have to guess and you have to guess right yo thank you for the sub that's your first sub thank you easy thank you easy I hope I'm saying that right Welcome. It's Glad you're better, Ezzy. I hope you're having fun. Thank you for the resub. Or thank you for the first time sub, sorry. Nope. <clears throat> yeah. Get like... back on that plane. <laughs> yeah. Eat it. Like, at the end there, Anna was literally in Gigas' face. I'm pretty sure that was literally just jab into, into like, you know, like, jab. So their fastest high into, uh, into, uh, down forward one, which is just her fastest mid. And just alternating between high and mid, and Gigas just had to stand there. <laughs> what are you gonna do? That guy has to already be living in Japan. No way he flew 14 hours just to play Gigas. <laughs> Damn. Uh, some player, you know, I don't tell people what to spend their money on, but you know, some people, they want to see the cherry blossoms. Some people want to eat sushi. Some people just want to lose playing as Gigas. Damn. Dude, my thumbs hurt from touching the backs of these keys. It's like Legos. They're sharp. Alright, I'm gonna skip to the matchups here, because... I'm here for some action. Bulb, how are you doing? I'm doing great, thank you for asking. I feel wonderful today. I... I got... I, I'm being paid... To watch Evo Japan by Men's Warehouse. I feel uh, that's awesome. <laughs> shouts out, Men's Warehouse. Yeah, shouts, shouts out. Today's stream. <laughs> I can never remember the bottom row of letter keys. Damn that shirt. Yeah, I want to go to Japan and just buy t shirts. Yeah, you want to go to the ET pop-up shop? Yeah, exactly. Like, the I don't Tom know. Jerry shop. I don't know why, but Japan like has some of the best T-shirts with English on them ever. <laughs> but I, I have flat out though. I have too many T-shirts. I need, I need fewer T-shirts. I need to get rid of T-shirts actually. Is this lady still top tier? Yes. I think this is very much in Zafina's favor, but maybe this king's got the... Maybe this king's got the fucking... Oh, shit. Okay, maybe this king player's ready. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Oh, no. Uh oh Oh, no! <laughs> I love, oh no! I love how slow this grab is too. The grab is mad slow, so if you fuck up, you just gotta watch the whole thing. Didn't study the charts, jackass. Get fucked. Man, fuck. Oh my guy. god. Yo, this king player is ready for this matchup. And they're on a they're on like the Oh the check! Oh my god. Oh my god, let's go! <laughs> Brother. Oh, uh oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, okay. They got that. They got that. They got that. They looked at it on their phone real quick. <clears throat> Oh, 
Oh! You see, Rosakura, there's this oh! thing called a, a luchador. Oh! oh, what the fuck? Oh, no. Oh, okay, you can't do that two times in a row. No way your opponent's gonna let you do that. Oh, but they detect this one! They're dead! They're at the wall! Giant swing! I, I like. Cartoon I, splat sound effect. Add that to my favorites. I like that one. <laughs> well, I'm gonna watch that one again. Brother. Whoa, what? This guy picked the floor break stage against King? Okay. Bruh. Uh, that's not what I would do, but sure. Resubscriber. Thank you, Priggle, for the resub. Thank you for the 22 months of support. Much appreciated. Valp Nation. Reverse psychology, yeah. Yo, more Tekken 7 codes going in chat. Or, I'm sorry, Tekken 8 codes. <laughs> so what I've learned is, if this king gets in, it's over. I mean, this specific king, yeah. Because apparently their opponent is not ready. Brother moment. Oh, <laughs> why did you pick the stage? Why, oh. why, did, why did you pick this? Bro, why did you pick the stage? Okay, they're fighting back. Never mind. He's doing the hard shit too. Yeah. Yeah, the king is like a very deceptive looking character. Because you look at it and you're like, oh, this can't be that hard. And like, king is not easy to play. Oh my oh, god. Delay Hopkins. Oh, the call out. Why did you pick the stage? Why did you pick the stage? Like every that? time, every time King gets a floor break at the end of their combo, skirt, skirt. Why did you pick? Going the to the stage? basement. Why did you skirt? Why did you pick the stage, dude? You like that animation? We're gonna see it again. Why did you pick the I don't get it. Why did they pick the stage? It has only hurt them. Bruh. Oh my god, dude. Land, hit an RDC. Oh, Do it. Oh, my oh God. brother. Oh, my. Oh, my oh. God. Dude, what the fuck? Bro. Is this pools? Yes. Yeah, I can <laughs> Maybe that. Maybe that was like anti-embarrassment tech. If you lose as fast as possible to your opponent, you can get off the main stage as fast as you can. So the Zafina player picked uh, Ancient Temple. Yes. Yep. Versus King. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, yeah, that's some pools play, I guess. <laughs> yeah, the go home for dinner tech. Yeah, it's like, oh man, I got a reservation at this restaurant. I got 30 minutes to get there. Hey, I don't care about Evo anymore. I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> like, Zafina has some fine floor breaks, but it's like not as good as like King. Two, yeah. There's two characters that just like go crazy on Temple because their normal ender already breaks the floor. Yeah. And it's King and Miguel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea why the... Like, that's literally the only way... That literally the only explanation I have is they wanted to end it fast because they were like, I, I'm done. I can't win. That is so weird. Also, hey, Log. Hey. I'm not going to stay here long. Oh, right, because it's Friday. You, you got, got magic. magic. Yeah. What's on the menu today? Modern, right? Probably Pioneer. Oh, Pioneer. Ooh. Yeah, Pioneer. Doing? It's funny. Pioneer at my store, too. Pioneer now <laughs> takes the Friday slot. People like Pioneer. That's good. Oh, hello. Uh -oh. Who's this man we uh -oh. see on stream? Uh oh. Uh oh, <clears throat> uh -oh Negan. It's so funny seeing Negan with the Japanese subtitles. <laughs> Give Negan his proper funeral. 
This may be the last major he appears in. Well, I guess I guess regular Evo is going to be Tekken Seven. Yeah, Tekken Seven is still around for a while. Tekken Eight's not coming out Ooh, for like nice at least a year. Step. Oh man, this Negan's got the shit. Oh my god. Ooh, good catch on the float. Ooh, badass. <laughs> Negan's so wacky. I always forget Negan is in this game until I see him. I Tekken 7 is my most played fighting game, and even I forget Negan is in this game until I see him. Damn, I thought Tekken 8 was going to come out this year. They've gone hard with the promos. We will be lucky if Tekken 8 comes out this year. It's it's not going to be out for a while. No way. You're going to have to wait for the play date in like four years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did show a lot of stuff pretty quickly in quick succession. But, I mean, it's there's going to be a beta is all. Yeah. The... I. I'm not, I'm not mad that they're showing stuff off so early because I have a brain, but I get the feeling a lot of people are going to be like, but they're showing so many trailers already. It's not going to come out soon. It's like, oh, yeah, I, mean, I, I forgot they're making a Mortal Kombat game. I mean, honestly, like, it, it felt the same as, like, Street Fighter 6. Street Fighter 6, it felt like, oh, they were on their game. This game's going to come out in, like, yeah, March, right? Then, no, it's coming out in June. Yeah. Hey, let not let you know. I don't. I got enough fighting games to play. It's okay. I can wait. Oh my god! <clears throat> this Negan player. Wow, that's rare. A Japanese pad player playing Negan. Oh my god. <laughs> that's crazy. A Japanese pad player. You don't see those. But, um, yeah, I really, it's hard to gauge when Tekken 8 is going to come out. It's not as simple as, like, Street Fighter, where it's like, okay, well, they've shown, okay, they've shown, like, 12 characters. There's usually only going to be 16 or 18 characters. They're probably about ready. This game, who knows what they're going to do. They've, I, they have, like, they've, they've shown, like, 10 so far. For, when it comes to Tekken... I love big, like, you. I've said it before, I love fighting games with big rosters. I I am willing to wait a full year for Tekken 8 if it comes out with, like, 40 characters. Fuck, like, I would fucking love that. I think they said, I remember someone saying, like, in an interview, they said, like, they want Tekken 8 to have, like, a big roster at launch. So, I'm, I'm okay with that. Fuck it. I think, I think games with big rosters are sick. It just seems to come with the territory. Yeah, it, I'm I'm okay with it. Let it leave it in the oven. It's a it's it's this ain't this ain't uh this ain't you know. This takes a while to cook. You gotta be patient. Oh wow, no, that looked like you could launch that, but they didn't. Uh oh, <gasps> no, bruh. They did two butterfly loops. They were almost there. Nina's one of those characters where you look like a badass if you can do the stuff, but if you fuck up, you just look like an idiot. Sad. Because you're just waving your hands around while your opponent already has dropped to the floor, and then you get fucking... You eat a get-up kick. While you're waving your hands around. Uh-oh. Wow! Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Yo, is this... Oh my god, they tried it. Alright, I'm done cleaning my keyboard. Last Tekken 8 code going out now. You enjoy that shit. Oh my god, this Negan's really a- They must know this matchup, like, pretty well or something. They're, like, really on top of this. Oh, 
Hope we don't have to wait for legacy characters like we did with seven. Ah, fuck that. I think that I think. Oh wow, they tried it again. That's surprising. Because both times they tried the armored mid launcher, they've actually just eaten shit for it. It's not that good. I would, I would rather see new shit than old characters. You know. I think uh... you're, <laughs> you're in the minority of tech when it comes to Tekken. I mean, Tekken, I don't give a fuck about, but I mean fighting games in general, you know? I just think more, new shit is more interesting. I think that a lot... I mean, like, the things that Ryan's are old crazy. have... I think the things that are old just have, like, a lot of tried and true <laughs> things to work with. I mean, yeah, I'm not saying there should be no old stuff. I'm just saying I think new stuff is more exciting than old stuff. But I'll... But also, I also just, like, I, I don't place much value on, like, the new stuff that's coming out from anybody but Capcom right now. Really? Like, the, like, the, like the fresh ideas. Capcom's been, Capcom with Street Fighter Six has, like, some pretty good new ideas. But I haven't really been into the new spins that they've been taking with uh, the other games. Hmm. I uh I don't know who's going to be in the roster for Tekken 8. I'm not going to guess, but I get the feeling it's going to be just like, you know, your 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 legacy characters like Yoshimitsu's going to show up. Uh yeah, you know, anyone who's been in a Tekken game since Tekken 1 is like guaranteed to show up. Maybe not Yoshimitsu, maybe not uh Heihachi, right? But like everyone else is like fair game. I wouldn't even be surprised if, like, Devil Jin shows up again. Um, or, like, they do some Kage shit where it's, like, it's just the devil part of Jin and not Jin. But, like, I don't know. It's it's kind of sucks, but my main, Bob, might not come back. Because apparently what I've been, what I've heard from, like, interviews and stuff is, like, they really do look at popularity. They look at popularity. If your character, even if it's like a legacy character, if your character isn't popular, it might be relegated to DLC. I mean, I hey, if it, if, if, hey, if Bob's DLC, he'll be fucking busted. It's true. He'll be like Super Bob or whatever. <laughs> uh oh, oh this, Negan, th this Negan player is not doing so hot all of a sudden. The Nina player has got the download. Download complete, yeah. bro. Yeah. They're on Japanese Wi Fi. Dude, monkey's paw, they're gonna add in Bob, but it's Slim Bob. I don't know why people... Uh-oh, what? Okay, yeah, that was no. not gonna work. That couldn't work. The thing about Bob is, like, he's not the most popular character, and so if he doesn't make it to base roster Tekken 8 because he's not the most popular character, sure. But if he doesn't make it to, like, Tekken 8 because... People arbitrarily don't like Bob. I don't know why. Like Bob yeah, isn't even why. Bob isn't even top tier or broken anymore. People, but people still artificially hate the character. I have no idea why. Oh wow, fighting back. Yeah, Miguel's too cool. Megan, this interesting. Final, final round. Oh, shit. Double Luigi. The Negan player is adapting back. Oh, my God. Better. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh. His controller is getting sweaty. That jump back jab. That was a mistake. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This is gonna hurt. Brother. Oh my Bro, god. Bro, killed? Yeah, N Nina's sick. She has some stupid damage at the wall. Wow. Fuck Negan. Damn, what did Negan do to you? Guest character. <laughs> I know how it is. 
Trust what, me. what did Negan do to you besides having a uh, besides having a ignorant character? Yeah, I was gonna say, what did Negan do to you besides having really good range, unparryable lows, uh, <laughs> a bunch of good safe shit, a stance that auto parries lows? Uh, <laughs> high damage. Oh. Steve oh, Fox. Shit. Now there's a character. What I would love, what I would love, and they would, like, not do this at launch. They couldn't do this at launch because the development time would take way too long. But I would love if Tekken 8 had everybody. Like, everybody. Uh, it's, not gonna, it's, everybody. it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. But I'm a sucker for that shit. Yeah, if they pull the Smash Brothers... Like, everyone but the guest characters, you know? That would take fucking ages to do, I know. That's why I'm not holding out hope for it. It's yeah, not, it's want, not you, gonna happen. Oh, I love that command grab. Yeah, you want bake? <laughs> Someone out there wants bake and wang and Bruce. And all these. Eris is a fucking wang player, bro. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to head out now. All right. See ya. So, love. Good luck. See you later. Yeah. Bring back Boskanovich. Yeah. They would never do it because the development time would take forever. But I don't know. Someone someone asked, like, oh, do you think Bob is going to be in Tekken 8? And I, gen like, genuinely, I don't think so. And they were surprised when I said that. But, like, he's not the most popular character. He's He's, like... He's like a niche character. I'm like one of the few Bob players, like there's not that many Bob players out there. So he's not gonna get back in, you know? He'll he'll be back in as DLC. They're, they're gonna make me pay 15 bucks for it. No Bob, but they're gonna make Steve fat. <laughs> Maybe. Mokujin needs to come back. Mokujin doesn't need to come back. I disagree. Mokujin and Trade Master or Edge Master are cool. It's a cool idea. A character that random styles because Mokujin random styles every round, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That's fun to play with online. You play Armor King. Just pick Forgotten Realm. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Wonder if Dragonov might come back. Dragonov will, is a is a safe one. Dragonov will come back. He's like a staple. Yeah, he's he's a he's actually somewhat popular. Not a lot of people play him for like tier reasons, but he's. Pretty popular. People play them because they're finna down too. Yeah. I'm wondering which Raven will come back. I was talking about this earlier. They, they, that's what, that's like, that should be like the new thing. The only consistent thing about Master Raven is that they're, they're black. That should be the only consistent thing about Raven. They're black and they're a ninja. I think, I think for Tekken 8, they should have Grandmaster Raven, and it should be like an old guy. It should be like an old guy. It should be like an old ninja, like head ninja, you know? Make it a grandma, dude. Yeah. Like Madam Butterfly from Sekiro. Yeah, like, just keep, just keep, you know, just keep, you're working up the, like, organization. You know, you had Raven, and now you have Master Raven. Tekken 8 should have Grandmaster Raven. Oh, that 
Floor break scoop wasn't much, huh? I like blinked, I missed it. Maybe a rookie raven? <laughs> nah, people hate that apprentice shit. If, yeah. if Soul Calibur V taught me anything, people hate it when you replace a character with like their apprentice. But yeah, I think <clears throat> I think I think I think like they need to keep switching it up. You know, Raven like if that's what they're gonna do, I'm 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 cool that's cool. I think that's cool. They need to like keep like Raven Raven should be like Yoshimitsu. It should be a different person every game. Well you see Yoshimitsu is simply a title for the current leader of the Manji clan. <laughs> the wielder of the cursed sword, Yoshimitsu. Oh my god. Oh, did not work out. Yeah, Steve's kind of hard to. I get the feel. I I I don't play either of these characters, but I get the feeling the Steve, the 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 Steve is really rough if you play Armor King. You don't want Astaroth in this game, Super Stubbo. Hey, what are what are what are grabs on tech? In this game, belt. Uh, I have. I think it depends. It's one of those things. Right, right, because they all have different animations. Yeah. It in caliber when you tech a command grab, the grabber is plus six. That is so. I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm like, I'm it like. It used to be plus eight. And that is like so whack to me. It's scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What Charlotte said. They're neutral most of the time. Most of the time. You're like actually even if you break. You don't like it's not in to anyone's advantage. Hearing that it's hearing that the initiator is plus in in Soul Calibur is like so it's so funny. Makes having a command grab very strong. Uh Navis, uh the Yoshimitsu in Soul Calibur is the original Yoshimitsu. Um and in Soul Calibur 5, it's Yoshimitsu the second. Oh, speak uh, of the devil. Oh, hey, Bob. Speak of the devil. All right, I'm rooting for the Bob player. El Tima, I wasn't talking about inputs. I was talking about frame advantage. You know, oh my god! Let's go. You know what's fucked up? Depending on how good the Bob player is, this matchup is actually so in Bob's favor. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Bob main. It's like stupid. Oh, he's doing the hard combos too. DZA is Algeria. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh. I think that I think this matchup is in Bob's What the fuck? What the fuck? Yeah, Bob what? Bob does like some matrix shit. He fucks this game up. <laughs> okay, this Kazuya player is not good, but yeah. Yeah, look at that movement. But oh. yeah, it like the back walk. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's a nerves. Oh. Nerves. He didn't do the combo and he could have gotten a wall splat there. Oh wow, what an unfortunate trade. Bro, Bob's choking. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> Alright, oh, a little rough there. A little rough there, but it's pools. It's pools. Bro. You know what's fucked up? The reason why I think this matchup is in Bob's favor, why the fake Mishima beats the real Mishima, Bob has so much better range on a lot of things. He hasn't done a Hell Sweep yet, but we'll see. Okay, let's see how they'll adapt. Actually, oh god. Oh 
What the oh, fuck? Brother. Dude, he's cooking. Oh my god, this guy does not know the matchup. Oh my god, this guy does not know the matchup. He's just finishing strings and he's in all of them. Oh my he's god. Oh my god. Oh, damn, this guy's sharp. Oh, misjudged the distance of the wall. The neutral jump? Oh my god. Yeah, this guy doesn't know the matchup. That makes this even worse. Oh, the ball player is going for style points. He's fishing for a delayed hop kick. He wants to really rub it in. I, so I didn't even know this until I, I, I learned this like two months ago. Bob has the fastest wave dash in the game. His is faster than Kazuya's. When they were talking about speed and weight, they weren't lying, yeah. Damn, that was so fucking fast. Holy shit. That was intense. Blink and you miss it. A good if you don't <clears throat> if you play fighting games but you don't play Tekken, a good way to look at it is like Bob to the Mishimas is like Sagat to a Shoto. <clears throat> you know? That's the way you should think about it. If the Mishimas are the Shotos of Tekken, then Bob is like Sagat, where he's got a lot of similar tools, but you wouldn't really, like, lump him in there, you know? Explain in Bloody Roar terms? I've never played that fucking game. <laughs> it looks dope, though. <clears throat> Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. We got a foreigner on the screen. What is IRL? Either Israel or Ireland. No, Ireland would be IRE. Oh, wait, oh, that uh, is Ireland? Ireland. That is Ireland? Ireland. I thought, I thought Ireland was abbreviated IRE. I thought that was Israel. Whatever. If it's Ireland, it's Ireland. He looks oh, Irish. That is a weeby ass costume. Holy shit. Oh yeah, Kunimitsu is like laser focused towards one type of player. Damn, it's a ninja fight. Master Raven versus Kunimitsu. That looks like a Dead by Daylight skin. That's Feng Min. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, okay. One person is a lot more prepared. Fortnite skin, couldn't we too? <laughs> so true. Ooh. Oh, what? Oh, wow. This match is really up close and personal so far. I figured the Kunimitsu was wanted to like play keep out, but nah. They're just gonna go in. Master Raven does back turn shit? Yeah, they're they have a lot from back turn. Mm. There's no like Valdo analog, is there a character nah. who has like an entire moveset back turn? Nah. That well, shit's scary, dude. Valdo <clears throat> there are, there is. There I know Xiaoyu has a like a good chunk of Xiaoyu's move list is her, is has her back turned. Um, mm. like all the stance characters usually have a lot of back turn stuff in this game. <coughs> oh my god! Yeah, okay. Fuck playing keep out. Oh, good catch on the float. At the top of the hour, Tekken Seven is going to be on the main Evo Japan channel. 
Wait, you mean like now? We're gonna go yeah. from a VOD to watching the real thing? Uh, yeah, I'll do that. Fuck it. In 20 minutes. Yeah, fuck it. I'll do that. Oh, I'm so sleepy. I don't even remember when I woke up. You know, <clears throat> going on vacation, going on vacation actually did fix my sleep schedule a little bit. I'm waking up like at 11 a.m. now. <laughs> Uh, I don't remember when I, maybe it was around 1 or 2 a.m. I don't remember. All right. Come on, you, f you, you're, you flew all the way here to, to show your stuff. You got to prove that you're good. Huarang is Valdo. That is so not true. I don't know about that one, Chief. The item label vids were great, by the way. Thank you. I had a lot yeah, of fun that, making those. I'm glad I got to use the It's a Living clip. Oh my god. Okay, this guy is like, like this guy is mentally broken. I think, I think, like losing the last. I, I think losing earlier, like I don't know. They're tilted now. They're playing sloppy. Ooh. There you go. Good catch. Whoa, what the fuck? Bruh. A little fair exchange oh of God. blue stuff. Nice. All right. Just hang in there. You got a fighting chance. Whoa. Oh my God. Not. Oh, oh, the call out. I know what you want to do before you even do it, motherfucker. Oh my god, they're just getting chipped down. Yeah, it's not looking good. It's not looking good. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god! Oh come on, dude. You're letting... Damn. The key charge. Woo, nice catch. Oh, but the drop. Oh, oh, oh. oh jumps over the, th oh shit. The Irish. Oh, fuck. Come on, Ishaw. Those Irish resets. No. Oh, no. Okay. Ooh. Okay, 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 okay. The Irish, the Irish combos. Those Irish, Irish combo reset. resets, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. They're losing on all these like tiny interactions. This 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 cootie player is very very patient. Oh my god. Oh! Oh! Oh whoa, they didn't get oh, they, they dropped the yeah. conversion. Oh my god. Oh wow. Okay, I need to use the bathroom. So I'm going to go find the next match for you guys and then I'm going to go get up and and uh Use the bathroom. Ah, uh, Coomer. Yeah, you see resident a... sleeper. All right, I'm gonna skip to the match. <clears throat> All right. All right, I'll be back, guys. I gotta use a. I gotta use the bathroom. Oh shit! Okay, never mind. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm not getting. Up, I'm not getting up yet. I. Yeah, I knew I recognized that guy. I knew. I was like, I didn't want to say it in case I was wrong, and I and I was gonna have a mega sixty four moment. But I was like, that guy looks familiar. But I didn't say it because I didn't want to be. You know, I didn't want to be like, oh.
If I was wrong, then I, it'd be like a all Asian people look the same moment. But I was like, that guy looks like Taquito. It is Taquito, motherfucker. Hey, fun fact. Fun fact. Before we before we watch this, fun fact. Taquito used to play hella Tekken back during like Tekken Six. He stopped playing Tekken because like Street Fighter became more popular. Guess who he played in, in Tekken 6? He was a Bob main. He was a Bob main. Bob is good. Play Bob. But in this game, he plays Akuma, because of course. Alright, I can't use the bathroom yet. No. I'm, I'm holding it. But yeah, Takedo used to play, like, it's it's kind of like before I got into fighting games, but like, w one of the reasons Ooh. why Takedo has, like, his name etched in history is like, it Takedo's not a one-trick pony. Like, there are old Evos where, like, you look at the brackets for the different games, and it's like, oh my god, Takedo won, like, everything except for Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Takedo entered every game and made top 8 for every game except for Mortal Kombat. Like, you, you'll see Takedo like, oh, Takedo won Street Fighter, made top 8 for King of Fighters, won Tekken. Yes, Takedo is a legendary name in Street Fighter. Yeah, he plays, he sticks to Street Fighter nowadays because, you know, Street Fighter is the game that just announced that they're going to have a million dollars for first place, but he played, you know, he's got, he's got time to play King of, he's, <laughs> Tekken. He is the Akuma <clears throat> player. Oh, he's a little rusty though. Big drop. Tech. Oh, oh, oh. oh. A, little, a little messy there, a little messy there. Can we tech those? God damn. Yo, first oh, oh, oh. Nice. Nice pokes. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, that almost worked. For Takedo, I mean. Because he was... Oh my god. Ooh, demon flip throw. Oh! Oh! oh Ooh, good nice tech out. jump on the low forward. Holy fuck. Uh-oh. God, Akuma's so sick! Akuma's wow. so good! Can't wait for Street Fighter 6 Akuma. Yeah, as long as he doesn't look like a lion that got stung by a bee. Alright, what stage are they going to pick? They're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. Damn, imagine, imagine picking, imagine playing Tekken and then you don't even, you get your ass beat by fucking Takedo in this game. You weren't even expecting this. Okay, so he's gonna pick Forgotten Realm. Akuma has some pretty dirty shit on this stage too, with the floor breaks. Oh. As you yeah, can I imagine. Akuma was in the, uh, the concept art leaks, right? Yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> mm. 
They really need to they really need to update Akuma for the newer generation. You know, old Akuma, you know, old Akuma sold fruit by the side of the road. New Akuma needs to like work for T-Mobile or something. He should have like Yeah, man. He should have like, you know, he A should have he, okay. he should he should be bald with like a Bluetooth headset. You're thinking of Dan. This is Daniel Hibiki you're describing. <laughs> Ooh, nice tech job on the low forward again. Whoa, 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 whoa. That was actually... Oh! Whoa! <laughs> what a fucking read. Holy I shit. Mean, I mean, it's Takino. It's the... It's... Oh, nice ducks, though. You thought you escaped back jump air fireball by playing a 3D game? Guess again, motherfucker. Uh oh. Oh, oh, he didn't have a bar. Oh, he does now. Oh, oh he whiffed. Focus attack. Uh oh. Uh oh. Is he dead? Oh. <gasps> oh. <laughs> what a DP! Holy fuck. The disrespect. Oh my goodness. Nice, oh. nice. He's got those. Come on, show us a sick Brother. floor break combo. Ah, uh, I don't know. That, that doesn't work, I don't think. I think it was just because the sidewall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're at a really awkward angle right now. Uh oh, wall's right there. Uh oh. Oh, oh no! Oh no, Takino! It's one! You have to press one! Nice! The music in this game is so good. Whoa. Oh my god. Oh! oh. Got in there with that tech crouch. This is a this was such a pleasant surprise seeing fucking Takedo entering this game. Oh shit. Uh oh, King's giving them a run for their money though. Yo, oh tech. fuck. Uh oh. Oh no, that was did not work out how they wanted it to work out. But they're out of the wall. Okay, full meter, full meter. Come on, do something crazy. Do something crazy. Oh no! Oh, brother! Uh -oh. What are you doing? Dropping your FADC combos. Wow! Nice punish. That was a little anticlimactic, but that was just, yeah, yeah, solid block punish. Damn. Damn. That's crazy. Alright, now I'll find the next match for you guys, and uh, I'll use the bathroom. Oh wait, that might have been the last fucking match. Shit. Grand blue time. Let's go. Uh, Immediately skips past it. <laughs> hey, I want to play that game, but not going to lie. I I want to play that game, but, you know, not going to lie. That game fucking... Not the best. For, it's weird. It's not the best for watching. Eh. It's a little simple. I mean, we yeah, can't. It's current incarnation. I mean, we can. You guys want to watch some? Fuck it. All right. Um. When uh, you guys said twenty minutes, right? Uh, I mean, five more minutes. All right, Turn that's fine. Hour. We'll watch. I, I, I'm using the bathroom. I'll be back. Bruh. Look at this fucking character. Oh, baby. Hello? There's a burst in this game? 
Right, I forgot it's gotten updates since I last played it, because I last played it at, like, launch. Bruh. That Gita player was fighting for our fucking life. Holy shit. Yeah, this is Tekken. Ooh. Oh, but drop that shit. What the hell? What are you doing? Yeah, get in there. Throw tag. So timid in the corner. Oh, hello. That's a new mechanic. This motherfucker dashed and it was blue. You don't know anything about this game? Uh, it's a very simple game. Uh, though it would seem that it's gotten a little less simple since I last played it in launch. Characters don't have grounded overheads in this game. Unless you have, like, a special move that's a grounded overhead. But yeah, it's a super fun game. It was, real, it was a lot of fun at release, because it feels like kind of a love letter to, like, a Street Fighter 4 kind of game, but, like, simplified. Very nice. It's a fun game. And Grand Blue's a fun property to see an Arxis game of. This is the one with the lesbian? Yes. Correct. It's also the one with the, uh, the incredibly slutty man. Everyone loves Belial. See, I wouldn't even call this game an anime fighter. There's no fucking air dashes in here. You ain't doing air dashes. You ain't doing jump cancels. This ain't no anime fighter. What the fuck? Yeah, this game got released. And then they announced a world tour. And this game had delay-based netcode. And then a little thing called COVID-19 rolled around. And miraculously, this game is getting a re-release. Like a new version. With rollback. It's anime and it's a fighter. That's not how that fucking works. <laughs> that, that's not how that fucking works. Words have to mean things. Street Fighter is not a 3D fighter because it has 3D graphics. Yes, it is. Who said it's not? Me, bitch. I'm going to time you out for a year. Just kidding. I'll untime you out or Balp will get mad at me. She got the fucking download, bro. She's in there. Go get him. One of the most interesting things this game does as a mechanic, is if you'll notice the skill icons under their health bars, that's what those four squares are. EX moves don't cost any kind of meter. You can just use an EX move. But the thing is, is it'll put that move on cooldown for a while. So, for example, if your opponent wakes up with EXDP and you block that shit, they're not going to have an EXDP <laughs> for a while. It's a really interesting uh, system. But yeah, this game is super geared towards, like, being a good beginner game. Because, like, the, the combos aren't super hard. There's, like, a stylish mode where you could just press buttons and directions for special moves. Which sometimes, as far as I'm aware, is, like, the competitively viable thing to do in some situations. Sometimes you just want a one-button DP. Yo, she's going for the deadly rave! Let's go! 
Nice. You had to refresh because of me? <laughs> oh no, you had to press a key? God forbid. Well, Bob's not here to fast forward through the talking, so have fun with the next seven minutes. It's a straight edge fighter in a world of crackhead games. Yeah, like, if, if you think back to DNF Duel, whenever that game was alive for like a week, Grand Blue is like the polar opposite of DNF Duel. DNF Duel is like, all right, what if, what if a game just smoked every drug at, at, at once? And Grand Blue is the complete opposite. It's it's very straight edge. Very straight edge, very clean. DNF Duel is like fucking sewn together. Caked with all sorts of substances. But man, is it a great time. Two sides of the same game design coin, yeah. DNF Duel was fucking fun, man. Crazy as shit though, but fun. Kunoichi was really fun. Surprised it's getting stuff. I'm I, back. I think they announced a new DLC character for it. Hey, right? is the like official live live stream on? It should be. Oh wait, I gotta check my farming in Melvor Idol. Hold on. Yeah, I got some watermelons growing. Hell yeah. If I were to guess, Navis, it's probably something due to the parent company or something. But also, just think of how many finger, or I'm sorry, think of how many pies Arxis has their fingers in right now. What are you guys talking you about? Uh, DNF duel. All right. I played DNF duel again. They added all these updates. It seems like there's a pretty dedicated. They added, like, a, it seems like there's a pretty dedicated group of players for it. Is it worth getting DNF Duel? Is it still played? Every game is still played. Yeah, it's people just... Pl people play fucking Ultra Fight Dekianta 2. Like, you can find games for any game. Yeah. Except Soul Calibur. That game sold three copies. Someone Two play... of them were me. Wait, you bought that game twice? No, I'm joking. Okay. I wonder if they're going to do another Fighter Z, Maybe One Piece this time? That is the dream for all these Please. fucking anime stoners. Please, God, Arxis, make a real One Piece fighting game. That shit would blast so much pussy, you have no idea. Get Goku out of the fucking way, man. Bring, bring me Luffy. Oh, they're live. They're live. Let me go. Trust me, a One Piece fighting game would be fucking awesome. They're on Twitch, pal. Oh, they're on Twitch? Can someone link it? Okay, cool. They did. Count to two is good. Uh, good is a very subjective word. All right, here's what we're going to do. Because I do have some other work I need to get done tonight. So we're going to watch... We're going to watch... I'm going to talk over them. Um, we're going to watch the Tekken portion. And then I think I'm going to wrap up the stream. Because I need to chill out. Uh, grab some dinner. Um, and then after dinner, I have some more work to do for item label. Um, and then, but yeah, that's, yeah. I, uh, classic bulb eating food. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah. That's the plan. I'm going to watch this. I'm going to watch the Tekken portion of it. I don't know what comes after the Tekken portion, but we'll see. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to wrap up the stream and then 
I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're gonna watch more of this shit tomorrow. Hey, I want some- uh, Actually, before it starts, I'm gonna go get some more water. Did he just leave again? I was looking at Twitter. He sure did. Dude, Law would fuck so hard in a One Piece fighting game. My dream fighting game is a Studio Bones crossover fighting game. Or just straight up a Full Metal Alchemist fighting game. Let my friend Alphonse Elric cook with the set play. A real full metal fighting game. Oh, dude. Scar with the face grab, command grab. Bro. Bones would have too much, My Hero Academy. Uh, but yeah, but that's the thing. In my ideal world, it wouldn't, right? You get some E7 in there, some Soul Eater, some Full Metal. Oh, we got uh, Katarina Alves. This, this, don't let the fact that it's a pretty lady distract you. She's a gorilla. She's going to fucking bulldoze you over and just fucking rip you to shreds. Oh, this is low high. Oh shit! Wow, low high on the Steve, huh? That hasn't happened in a while. Oh, big drop! Damn, cameras fucking paid off. What yeah. <laughs> She okay. Paid off the cameraman to save her life twice. What the, the fuck was the, that? The fucked up thing about Katarina is like when she's in rage, like when she's at low health, she could just win. Like if she launches you, she just wins. That's how much damage she does. Whoa! What was that tech? What were fucked they trying to do there? Setup. Yeah. I thought they. I thought they made that not work anymore. I mean, dude, people don't read patch notes in Dota. It's true. There's probably people that don't read patch notes in fighting games. Uh-oh. Steve is so fucking cool. Steve is cool. I bet they're coming back for Tekken 8. Dude, show me Dudley in Street Fighter 6. It's about fucking time, man. I kind of wish the, you know, thinking about it now, I kind of wish the characters weren't leaked because now we know that, like, Dudley's not getting in, you know? At least in not for a while, one. yeah. You know that game's going to have five seasons. I know. You never read patch notes? Why not? It's fun. It's like Christmas. Yeah, why would you not read patch notes? Yeah, it's it's so maybe it's just because I was raised on Dota, where reading patch notes is like Christmas morning. Like you right. clearly like the game. Why don't you want to read what they changed about it? You know, so that they so that you know what's up. You're just Oro, gonna stay. He's crying emoji. He was right there in the last game, and he was top tier. Weird Street Fighter 6 doesn't have a boxer on launch. Oh, you're right. It's true. There's no boxer. There's no boxer or Dudley. And yeah, people were tired of Balrog anyways. After fucking... What was it? Was it season 2 of Street Fighter 5 or season 3 well, where Balrog was just... Well, don't worry. the fucking streets. Well, don't worry because Ed is coming back in uh, as a oh, season yeah. 1 DLC character. Right, I forgot. They're bringing back old white boy. 
It sucks because I think Ed's moveset is kind of cool, but only a mysterious mod. <laughs> Not in the actual game. Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with the camera? The, this kinda... I'm telling you, man, Katarina paid the fucker <laughs> off. This is kind of like, this kind of shows like, this is kind of like a pretty good textbook case of like, you know, if Katarina's damage is so high, how is she not top tier? And like, this is it. It's like, if your opponent is just a super clean player, it like, you have to re work really hard. Like you can see, you know, like you really got to work for, for these shit. But like, then you'll have moments My like that, word. you know? But like, you know, if your opponent's clean, stuff like that is I is not gonna happen too often. She's one of those characters where like once you get to a certain level in like skill, it becomes like, okay, you just have to be good. Cause the damage she has good damage, but that's it. Nice, punish. You don't read patch notes, you read the tweet threads explaining them, yeah. Type of motherfucker to watch so-and-so ending explained on YouTube. Brew, that flip. Yeah. Wow, they're adjusting Bro, pretty well. Choking. Oh my god, the name of a dude in the Street Fighter V bracket? Well, you gotta tell us because we're not watching it. Heaven Great... Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Heaven Superhero Great Yokohama. They play Gil. That's so sick. That's so That's sick. That's crazy. <laughs> That's so good. Man, FGC stoners don't know how good they have it with the whole knowing the usernames of pro players. Fucking in Dota, there's a pro player named Ice Ice Ice, there's a pro player named Ice Ice, and there's a pro player named Ice. <laughs> yeah. They just lost to a Nakali player. <laughs> First. Uh, that's great. Someone said that's some that's some Ed Ed and Eddie shit. Yeah. Pretty much. Oh, I like instinctively wanted to fast forward, but I forgot I was I'm watching the live one now. <laughs> Now you gotta sit through all the time. Yeah. Oh god, I have to vamp now. I have to vamp. Yeah, that kind of illustrates why why Katarina like isn't top tier. You just have to work really, really hard. So against the pro player, you know, you have high damage, but you have high damage, and the uh, that's about it. You gotta work for it. You gotta work for that shit. Oh. The um Hey novice, can you link the stream you're watching so I have something to bounce between? Yeah, go ahead and link look go ahead and link the stream you're watching. That way I can like, you know. That way we can watch like different matches. Oh, this is in English. <laughs> Let 
Maybe I stick to this, because they're all... No, I'm good. good. James Chen. This guy runs weekly Soul Calibur 6 Parsec lobbies. Bless his heart. Champion. I, 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 saw, I saw someone, like, try to do a call out for James Chen, like, you just want the money. You're just doing this for the money. And his retort was... What money in the in the Soul Caliber? <laughs> what money? <laughs> what money? <laughs> oh, what a fucking jackass! Suck my nuts, assholes! Oh! 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 oh. Dun dun wow. dun! Tuned in just in time, huh? Hey, you know what's you know what's scary? This could be Tekken or KOF. Arzan Ash is a monster at KOF too. He the when he he won, he came in he won uh he won at Combo Breaker for Tekken and then immediately just stayed in the same arena. He just sat down because they were gonna do top eight for King of Fighters and he made third place for King of Fighters. Top, top eight. He got third place in King of Fighters, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this is Tekken, though. Oh, no! Oh, no! Uh-oh, you're playing against Arslan Ash? With a gimmicky character like Lucky Chloe? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. You can't play. The thing about Arslan Ash is you can't play a gimmicky character like Lucky Chloe. Because he will just, like, laser targeted, just see right through you. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, at least it's not a perfect. Lucky Chloe is another character that is like has really high damage, and that's one of the reasons why people will pick Lucky Chloe. Uh -oh. It ain't about that. I mean, some people really do just pick Lucky Chloe because they have high damage. I think this is the first time I've seen a Kunimitsu in a tournament. They're pretty popular. Yeah, for her high damage as well, I'm sure. Uh, no, it's because she has the same... She has Noctis shit. She has daggers mm. that she can throw full screen. And if they connect, you, you like, you, like, run in and you get follow-ups. Mm-hmm. Good old projectile attack throw. Yeah. Oh, whoa, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Resubscriber. Lunari Arts, thank you for the resub. Thank you for the 24 months of support. That's two years. Thank you so much. Fuck yeah. People all over whole world come together to press buttons, so hashtag Betafelt. <laughs> yes, I agree. Whoa.
They they're fucking. Damn! It sounds like they're. It sounds like the English commentary is having a rough time, especially since they're not. Since they're remote. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Arslan is like, you're not gonna. You can't play a gimmicky character against Arslan. You gotta just play a good character and be good. Here we go. Why was there a paint can in the background? That's her. That's Kunimitsu's mask. Like it falls off. I see. Whoa! Brother what the woman. fuck? Oh my god! Maybe Lucky Chloe's better th against Kunimitsu than I thought. Wow. Uh oh, uh oh. I think Arslan Ash has got the download. I think it's over. Like, it's not over, but it's over. I can tell. Like, there's been a shift. I can sense it. You know, I'm like, I'm like Krillin. You know, I I can't I can't compete, but I can tell. I can still tell what's going on. <laughs> They're not moving too fast for your eyes. <laughs> Fuck off. I'm like Krillin. Fuck off. <laughs> wow, he's racking up the damage though. But this is where, this is where Arslan shines. Like, he's not, like, he's not going to give it up. Oh, my God. My goodness, those okay. whiffs. That was a, that was a guess. That or was that a was mature a, you yeah. right there. Steve. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yo, is this going to be this is Hey, I lo I'm loving this. If this is more interesting than I thought, I'm loving this. Oh my, oh my god. god. If Orson gets Make this wow, interesting! Make this interesting! Yo, is a Marvel player gonna knock? Yo, why is Evo Japan so dope? Why isn't everyone entering games they're not supposed to? Taquitos enter <laughs> Tekken? <laughs> I mean, it, is Arslan Ash gonna get knocked to loser's bracket by a fucking Marvel 2 player? Did you- w yeah. was, that, was that a sentence you'd ever expect to hear? Yo, Pochi, what's good? I have no idea what's going on. I hope everyone is having fun. I, I sure as am am having fun. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the 18 months of support. Much appreciated. But yeah, Arslan Ash getting knocked into loser's bracket by a Marvel 2 player. A Marvel 2 veteran. That is not... That, I would not expect that. Uh oh, mask off. He needs the oxygen. Fuck precautions. I need oxygen. I'm up against a world-class player. I need the air.
Arslan is thinking about this. He's not immediately going into rematch. He's 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 like on. He's no longer autopiloting. Arslan Ash is no longer autopiloting. He's he's got to take this serious now. Uh oh, Zafina time probably. I definitely expect a character switch. I get the feeling Kunimitsu is not that good against. I guess Kunimitsu is not that good against uh, Lucky Chloe. He only had to stick with Lucky uh, Kunimitsu because he won round one. Gigas time. <laughs> what is what is what is this delay? How many characters does Arslan Ash have? He plays Zafina, Kunimitsu, Geese, Akuma. Um, basically, whoever's good. <laughs> He's one of those players. Pick a good character. Yeah, Kazumi. Back when Kazumi was really good. You are one of the two streamers in the chicken wing tag? Wait, who else is in the chicken wing tag? Who else is on chicken wing? What the fuck? Okay. Alright, yeah. Zafina time. Some man named Cree Caveman Peeve. Alright, whatever. Do I have more viewers than them? Because if I have more viewers than them, then, I, then whatever. I mean, Twitch is not a competition, but I gotta have the most viewers in the chicken wing tag. Okay, good. I actually ate a chicken wing on stream today. So if they didn't do that, they're not, they're lying. Okay, here we go. Zafina. Zafina is a lot better at this matchup, probably. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. I wish I was good enough at Tekken to know what the minutia is here of why Zafina is better at better versus Lucky Chloe, but probably literally just the better backdash. Oh my god. Oh, no whiff punish. Uh oh, uh oh, it's about to be over. Zafina's better because Arzen's mom said so. Agreed. Oh, back turn. Oh, <laughs> brother moment. All right. Oh, hello. Yeah, they're switching from game to game here. Uh oh. Brother moment. The old Gutex shimmy. I guess we don't call it that anymore. The old Hatsune Miku shimmy. <laughs> Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Get him. Uh oh. That stun bar's high. Uh oh, so not uh oh. Ah. Uh, Brother. Hold on. 
Let's see. Are they? Oh, little tap. It's action. so it's so funny to look up at the screen or look at the top of the screen and see M Bison. Yeah. That's why they call him Boxer Dictator Claw, brother. Oh. I love MT jumping in 2D games. It's like my favorite tactic. No, Rosarosso, it doesn't have bison in it because he's canonically dead. Come on, big damage. Uh-oh, uh-oh. And, you know, Boxer and Claw are his subordinates, so if he's not in, fuck them. Damn. What the fuck was that? What? what? Oh, go back. It's, a t it's Twitch, fuck. Clip that, clip that, clip that, clip that. What is that? What the, what the fuck, fuck, was, fuck that? was that? What the fuck was that? All right, here we go. Back to like, I want to play some Tekken. Or I want to watch some more Tekken. Dude, play with a game clam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That shit ain't legal in Street Fighter Six now. Yeah. Oh shit, it's Rip! <laughs> it's Yo, fucking... <laughs> what the fuck? It's Rip! Yeah, he's he entered. <laughs> All right, Hell let's yeah, see. dude. Let's see. Go get him, bro. Let, let's see if let's see if Rip SoCal Stoner style can can <laughs> prevail can prevail in the land of the rising sun. <laughs> hey, working out so far. Go get him. Is Rip? He's just a SoCal Stoner. Commentator. Yeah, he's a commentator. He's a pretty notable commentator, but he actually traveled to Japan to enter and compete. He's not the best, but he's like good enough to compete, and he's won Evo before. Bro, don't call that dude's controller a gizmo. <laughs> that shit's a gadget. But like you get that shit in Ratchet and Clank, and it unlocks and a new planet. I'm not even. I'm not even like. I'm not even like talking shit. Like the way Rip plays Tekken. I would describe it as SoCal stoner style. Like, there's a reason he plays Law. Like, just wait. If he's on the back foot, just wait. <laughs> Inventor status. <laughs> he isn't a bopping. Like, what was that oh, slide? Brother. Rip, what was that slide? It wasn't gonna connect. That's, that's the second one. He did one of those in round <laughs> one as well. Oh, brother. Oh, this should kill, actually. I don't yeah. even play this game. I know that shit was plus. No! <laughs> Step on him. Yeah! <clears throat> Bro. That call out at the end? Was that, a, was that a call out or was that just a happy mistake? We'll never know. And he'll never say it. That was it. totally a call out. That was on wake up, right? That was a low get up kick that he tech jumped, right? That was a call out. <clears throat> English cast is, is also watching Rip. 
Hold on, we gotta hear them talk shit about Rip. Nice! Look, wait, wait. What are you doing? Wait, 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 what are, are you work? doing? <laughs> but it's working! <laughs> uh, oh, nice sidestep! Nice. That was clean! Oh, baby. <clears throat> <laughs> Jet lag style. Oh my god, he's going crazy! He's going crazy! Ooh. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh. Brother, dude's doing strings! Get on that wall. What the fuck? Do it again! Do it again! Do it! Oh! oh the parry! What the fuck do you mean? Oh, what? What? No, oh. you're not. You motherfucker, Rip! You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> they weren't ready. They weren't ready. They weren't ready for the SoCal Stoner style. They've they've never seen it. They've never seen that before. Why would you do that? But it worked. <laughs> what are they doing? Oh shit! What the fuck? Oh, they're explaining it. Does James Chen know how this device, this arcane device works? What? Wait, you put your arm on the curve? Apparently. Wait, it locks you in like a gauntlet? It's some Iron Man shit! <laughs> <laughs> Analyzing this poor motherfucker's weird ergonomic stick. No, for real, where... It, where do you put your hands? <laughs> Isn't this the game that Data plays in TNG? Bro? <laughs> oh, what? You- wait, you- Bro, wait, it, what the f- Wait, wait, no, you hold it up perpendicular? Like, it- it like, it's a- like, it's a console? Like... I'm checking James Chen's Twitter to see if he retweeted that fucking- No, he hasn't retweeted it yet. <laughs> Hurry up, asshole. He didn't even retweet it. Dickhead. What did they do? That's it? <laughs> That's all you're doing? Sick analysis, Steve. Thank you.
subscriber. Yo, so how was your day? One, two, four. Thank you. <coughs> Shouts out. Seven. Thank you for the resub. Thank you for the seven months of support. I'm having a great day, by the way. Thank you. The shout you players smoking crack, bro. Hey, if hey for real, if Bob isn't in Tekken Eight. One of the characters I'm considering playing is Xiaoyu. New subscriber. Yo, thank you. New sub, Vash Kareth. I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you so much for the resub. Or the first time sub, I should say. Thank you. Muchas gracias. This motherfucker is partying. I mean, Log always told me, like, you know, the way you play Bob, you like tricks, and you like catching your opponents off guard, but I kind of like a, like a very fundamental heavy, a very, like, fundamentals heavy character, so we'll see. But if Bob isn't in the base roster, I'm either, like, I have to pick a side, right? Because I'm on the middle of the fence. I either gotta, I, I'm either gonna play Kazuya, or I'm gonna play Xiaoyu. So we'll see. Dude, I'd say, go party mode, bro. Go go gremlin status. Yes. Shayu is fun to play. Like she's really fun to play. If you like a character that has like, if you like a character where your option is more tricks, like the bag of tricks just keeps going. Like it's it's fun. But I also might play Yoshimitsu for that same reason. Tekken Yoshi's boring. He doesn't even quote Buddhist scripture. Uh oh. Uh oh. World Star. Yoshimitsu is a character where, in order to get better at him, you have to sniff glue. <laughs> God, Tekken supers are lame. What do you want? Are you an anime player? I love eating crayons. It's it's an it they're armored and they do a big hit. What more do you want? Mm, I know the exact Valdo player he's talking about because I've played in his Parsec lobbies. The fucking Valdo player that plays in his Parsec lobbies is a fucking pianist. They're crazy. I don't remember what their name was, but that person is in fucking sane. I know the exact Valdo player that motherfucker's talking about. Valdo's cool. Yeah, play against them. Then sing that tune. I mean, they're probably playing as Valdo. Uh, mashing as Valdo. Uh-oh. That was a good throw because if they tech it, they have their back against the wall. But then you just pressed... But then they just walked into a down forward too. Oh... Come on. Do something crazy. Uh oh. Oh, they popped off too early. They don't have it yet. Okay, that was good. That was good. Uh oh. Ooh. Oh, what the fuck? They got too cocky. They got too cocky. Nice. They forgot it was a first to two. Oh, 
What the fuck? Whoa, nice catch with that hop kick. What the? Uh oh, 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 oh, doing Xiao Yu things. I don't have industry connections that I can say it's probably not coming back. Oh my god, what what is what are they doing? It's working though, it's working. No Bro. They like they they Does that shit kill? Yes. Oh that definitely kills. No! Almost oh! <laughs> Come on. One chance, this is your chance. Oh my god! <laughs> Commentator's curse, baby. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Did they got combos? They got combos? They got combos? Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh! What Bro, just Oh, what a float catch on the screw Whoa. kick. Holy shit. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Composure. Composure. Hot kick. Okay, never mind. You just woke up and press a button. <laughs> What the fuck was that? I've never seen that ender. That was crazy for the wall extension. Cool. This guy is not happy to be playing. Oh wow, this guy has chocolate milk. You know that might be coffee. Okay, yeah, that, that maybe that is coffee. Okay, yeah, it's probably coffee. Why did I say chocolate milk? Neither of these players are not happy. This guy's not happy because he just lost round the he lost and the other guy's not happy because he has to play Shao Yu in tournament. <laughs> yeah. Yo, step on him. I love that Julia move. Either way, whoa! Jump over back turn low parry. Shao Yu can back Shao Yu can ba uh Bro. Shao Yu can parry you while back turns. Oh my god, what is happening? Uh-oh. Oh, nice. Oh! Oh, but sidewall! And then mash the super. Fuck it. it. It's actually good, because this guy keeps going to stance, and you, they won't be able to block mm. it, right? Yeah, they're partying too hard. It's a good option to do, if, you're, if, they're, if they're constantly going into stance, right? They can't block. Mm-hmm. Come on, you gotta. Oh. Whoa, 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 Cross whoa, whoa. up. Uh oh. What the hell's happening? Bow and arrow? I didn't know you could get a launch off of bow and arrow. Oh, fuck. <coughs> what? Punish what? Bone arrow? Oh Third no, swing he's kick? what? This Zhao Yu player is crumbling. He's crumbling. The decision making is just like he's just he's like defaulting to bat he's like defaulting to like spring kick and is just getting him killed now. Alright, final chance. You gotta win three in a row. The weird thing is, I'm pretty sure they could have ended their last combo with the rage with the super and would it would have killed. So I don't know why they did all that extra shit. Chocolate milk powered him up? Yeah. Uh, no, Pub's ritual. The herb is illegal in Japan. Super illegal. It's like... They treat weed like it's fentanyl. <gasps> oh! <laughs> oh, but this is not gonna kill, though, so... Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, it's, it's actually... That was actually probably not a good idea, because they lost rage now, and... No, uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, it doesn't walk matter. Up bow and arrow. It doesn't matter. Walk up bow and arrow, soccer kick. Fuck it, bro. Hey. It might be because I'm Cantonese, but lately I've been drinking a third beverage. I maybe it could be because I'm Cantonese, but lately I've been uh I've been drinking that milk tea, that royal milk tea, the third brown beverage. My all my all my four favorite beverages are brown milk tea coffee regular tea and soda that royal milk tea that comes in the 
that comes in the white can with the like the the floral blue like it looks like a porcelain it looks like porcelain a brown tastes good resubscriber yo red bull energy esports thank you for the resub pobs i said the herb beverage is illegal in japan what flavor of milk tea is the best? Uh, there's one flavor. It's, Where's it's, that stoner earlier who was calling Grand Blue an anime fighter? This is what an anime fighter yeah, looks like. Yeah, this is what an anime fighter looks like. Grand Blue is like is a lot closer to Street Fighter. Than it you would feels imagine. Like a street yeah. Fighter. Yeah. No, milk tea. The the kind of milk tea I'm talking about doesn't uh come in flavors. There's one flavor. Take it or leave it. None of this foo foo shit. Now, if I wanted to, I am this close to to like going Hong Kong style. In Hong Kong, you can go to a you can in Hong Kong. You know what they do? They will mix tea and coffee together. Holy fuck. Whoa. Big punish. In Hong Kong, they'll mix coffee and tea together. And then pour and then pour milk into that. Fuck yeah, dude. What a punish. Hey, she's using I love she... I love to see a pot get fucked up. She's got the same stick as me. Hell yeah. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. A king player with the king mask? Bro. This person is either a winner or a fool, but they got their work cut out for them because that is, um, oh, fuck, what's his name? I'm so bad with names. That's, 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 that's a Pakistani player. He's good. It's, That's Mr. Geese on the screen. Yeah, they play Geese. Monka S. Oh, his, he's wearing the mask that King has in the game. That's sick. Oh, yeah, that's Khan. Yeah, okay. This motherfucker's name is just Fighter. That's awesome. Wow, did you hear what Steve said? Steve's not in Japan, but Steve said he was invited to if he was there, he would he got invited the king the like King Players Association dinner. That's awesome. So uh, sad. Got that, stepped on. that being said, uh, this is gonna be a slaughter because this is not gonna even be close. There's a character mismatch and a player skill mismatch, if I'm going to guess correctly. I just got a phone alert saying that we're going to get up to 90 miles per 90 mile per hour winds. Holy shit. Stay safe. Holy luck, shit. Wait, 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 where do you live? 90 Illinois. miles per hour? Illinois, that's my neighbor right there. Oh my god, that's insane. Check my weather app. Chicago oh, suburb? Cool. Oh shit. Is there, is there like a tornado? That's 90 miles per hour. I mean, yes, this is tornado country. Oh shit. We've been prepping the closet all day because fucking storm is blowing through. Oh my god, that's scary. Wow, okay, signs of life. Uh oh, but they got a... They got full meter, so... Uh... you say 
say that. America's crazy. Y'all got fucking tornadoes. I mean, I'm pretty sure every country has its natural disasters. Nah, mainland Europe basically has like nothing. You lucky motherfuckers. Fuck you. Uh, America is like everywhere in America. It's like there's hurricanes, there's blizzards, there's earthquakes, there's tornadoes. Mainland Europe is like nothing. Maybe sometimes you'll get like a mild earthquake. Like, oh, whoa, what was that? Weird. You lucky motherfuckers. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, mm, milk tea on my mind. Yeah, I'm sorry I got you. I, I'm sorry I reminded you of that. Now, now I want one. Although I shouldn't have one because I just had a coffee. That would be too much yeah, coffee. The only disasters in Europe are man-made. <laughs> Uh oh mask off regular mask regular king time no more playing around oh Yo! Get your ass on this wall. <laughs> I got. I gotta read this. I love Steve, man. Yo, we got a late night hamburger, man. Hello, Joe. One hundred bits. Harada is forcing me to tell his favorite Tekken fans that Tekken Eight is going to be hype, whatever that means. Hype, Bob. Hey, I hope you're doing good. Nice. Oh, I right. hope you're doing good. Oh, 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 oh. And and this stage, did they pick this stage? Because like this stage goes to an infinite stage at the very end, so it's like infinite stage. No, no bueno for king. Good luck with that shit, air fryer. Hang in there, homie. Oh my god, that's insane. Yeah, I hope everyone in I hope everyone in that area stays safe. Cause you 90 be stocked up. 90 mile per hour wind sounds scary as fuck. Doing great? That's good to hear. I'm glad you're doing good. You live in a basement? Fuck yeah. God, I wish that was me. Yurian's such a dope character. Even in Street Fighter V. Kill. Destroy. Brew the frame trap. I hate Aegis Reflector so much! <laughs> yeah, but it's cool, so you gotta respect it. Why do they give pot that shit? Yo, Zato cooking on stream? Uh oh. Oppose? Oh, brother. Oh brother. Yeah, I gotta play more Oh Gil brother. I know I know Long is like has not does not have good things to say about Guilty Gear Strive, but I gotta play more of this game. Guilty Gear Strive still looks good. I mean, do the lobbies function at this point? Because that was the I reason why I stopped playing the game, because the lobbies were just <laughs> absolute horseshit.
I know Jess is out there. I know Pep is out there. Out for the weekend. Hotashi is probably out there. Question mark. I know. Apo- I looked at the. Uh, I know. The Smash page. Right I, know here. I know. Apology Man made it out there. Hotashi isn't there. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I just had the list up. I think maybe Apology Man is question. I mark? literally just said that. Oh, whatever. Dude, I've been up for like the hell hours. Damn. Cut me some slack. And you're about to fucking fight a tornado? Holy shit. Just about, yeah. We just got a tornado watch here in Indiana, so. We'll see. Brother. Bedman is making me consider Strive again. I didn't know there were so many Bedman fans out there. I thought they were like. It's not even Bedman, it's different. Oh, sorry, Bedman? Bedman? You kidding me, man? I remember one of the excerpt brackets I played in the fight zone. I had to fight against two fucking Bedman players. One of them was old Gus with the old 14 frames. I think the other was RK. That game has... Oh, man. I always forget that game has rollback now. Or it will. It does. Brother, that was slick. Zato is such a cool fucking character. Yeah, but code. then but then you have to but then playing them is like gotta spend X that extra extra time. Uh-huh. He's so scary. Look at him go. Run up throw. Fuck it, man. Ooh, that was slick. Uh-oh. Oh, nice here we throw. go. Uh-oh. Ooh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Uh-oh. Okay, big burst, big burst. Uh-oh. Oppose. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, hold this frogs. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what species are. Sorry, I stacked them. What? What? How come both players popped off? He just died. <laughs> oh, Kakoma, another uh, pro uh, Korean player. Oh! All right, good time to tune in. <laughs> Dude, I love the English stream variety show. Yeah. This shit's good. Ooh, nice block. This should be dead. Oh, wow. Okay, there we go. Wow, Kakoma down 0-1. He's really got a... No, yeah, Lydia was the last. We're getting so much Kunimitsu tonight. So, Tekken 7 is, like, at the end of its lifespan. And what people have realized is that range is good. The more range your character has, the better. And so part of the reason why people play Kunimitsu is, like, they are, for all, like, the flashy moves, they're actually really good at playing lame. 
And then they have, like, really good range on top of that. And so I think that's what makes Kunimitsu a good character. Who are we watching anyway? This is Kakoma versus a Japanese player I've never heard of. I don't know why they took the names off the screen. Oh, if they were a little sharper, that would have been it. That was a big whiff. Oh, uh oh. <gasps> no, that was so bad. Oh my god, Fang is so just oppressive. Alright, Kakoma on the back foot. Uh-oh. Oh! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this is a match point for... Whoever Okate is. Why is this sponsored by eye drops? Because apparently Japan loves eye drops. They can't get enough. I don't know. Why are our events sponsored by fucking Red Bull? Yeah. All right, here we go. Fighting for, fighting for one's life here. Why is this stream sponsored by Men's Warehouse? Um, cause they, cause they just have the best suits. Duh. Yep. Are any of you going to prom? prom? Any of you going to prom? I mean, if you are, I'm gonna have to ban you. But any of you going to prom? <laughs> oh my god! Ooh, that was so close that to was, a double KO. I know. Nice. Nice punish. Nice. nice okay gotta make it hurt gotta make it hurt gotta make this count nice Ooh. once my grandma mistook super glue for eye drops oh my fucking god that's so scary yeah, you to think about you might not put those next to each other Get this little freak off the screen. Go get him, Nago. Nope. Oh, this poor Aussie has no idea what's going on. Oh, proving me wrong. <laughs> 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 
this dude. <laughs> nice. Nice. Look at you. Oh, yeah. You know, they are rocking the white Nago, huh? Fine. I'll root for the May player. Ugh. Yuck. Skirt, skirt. Oh! Gold burst, gold burst, gold burst. Skirt, skirt. Beep, beep. Spicy. Coming through. Oh my god! No, she's not dead. She's not dead. She's not dead. She's not dead. No way, no way, no way. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oof. God damn. Comeback, huh? Okay, here we go. Oh. Back to the shit people want to watch. Oh. Oh my god, Fang. Fang is... Brother. Yeah, this, this is close. Oh, shit. Match point. Come on, Kakoma. I can't do this. You're a pro player. You out of all people should know how to beat this character. People are going to call you washed up on Reddit. You can't lose. Nice. Whoa! No! Oh uh, no! Launch! No launch on the snake catch! Uh oh! Uh oh! Uh oh! What? That's nice stuff. The blue stuff. <gasps> no way! What the fuck? <laughs> the scramble at the end! Of oh my fucking god! He's dead! <gasps> Holy shit. Oh, Steve attacked. Yipes there. <laughs> that hurt to Hell watch? Yeah, fryer. That was... Kakoma at the end there. I mean, both players were scrambling, but Kakoma did like the dumber, riskier shit. The toe, the whiffed toe kick, the fucking wall, wall jump move. Oh my god. I'm looking at a weather map, and this storm is literally like parting around where I live in a line. I think I'm gonna be per I think it's going to perfectly miss exactly where I live. Dang. Hey. Bot, yeah. bot viewers stay winning. Woo! That's over quick. That was over quick. Someone's been eating their carrots. Sharp.
<gasps> oh, but they still have burst. Oh! Uh, Mira left. Oh shit, maybe Mira's in trouble. Well, hopefully, hopefully the high winds aren't fucking her up. Okay, uh, it's like, what, what time is it over here? It's 9.17 p.m. over here. Um, it's getting late. I gotta get some food. I gotta get some dinner. So I think what I'm gonna do tomorrow is... Um, if you want to stay up, feel free to continue watching EVO Japan. Um, but I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna end the stream. I'm gonna go take a break. I'll be back tomorrow at around 2 p.m.-ish. Maybe not 2 p.m., Maybe I'll be back tomorrow at, like, the, the time is still up in there. I might go live a little later tomorrow. I might go live at, like, 4 p.m., just to warn you guys, um, so that you guys don't say that I'm late or anything. But, yeah, I think I'm gonna go, um, wrap up now. I'm kind of tired, not gonna lie. Um, but, yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. So, look forward to that shit. So yeah, I, what, oh yeah, the plan is, tomorrow, I'm gonna go live, the same thing like I did today, where I'll go live, I'll watch a VOD of everything I missed during, e like, for the rest of EVO today, cause, you know, it's happening on the other side of the planet, they're gonna keep going until, like, 6am for me, and then, when it starts up at 7pm, or whatever, I'm just gonna start watching, you know? So, that's the plan for tomorrow. Um, and yeah. That'll be it. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Um, you know, it's just a chill... Uh, it's just a chill time. You know, I'm, th these streams aren't meant to be crazy. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just watching EVO Japan. Having fun, so... Glad you're here. Glad you get to, guys get to hang out. See you tomorrow. Yeah, see you tomorrow, Mike. See ya. Uh, but yeah. That's all I gotta say. I'm gonna go get I'm gonna go get dinner ready. And I'll be back tomorrow and I'll be back on Sunday. Sunday's my birthday, and I'm gonna watch Evo Japan Finals. That's a great birthday present. 